Hello everyone, how are you doing? Uh, we are happy to be back here with The Sprawl. It has, it has been how long now? Two two weeks? Three weeks? Longer? In it's been a while. It, it's been, been an indeterminate number of weeks. <laughs> well, unfortunately, we are back here now after, um, after a little loading glitch. It took a little while to download, but uh, we are finally here. Um, Is it unfortunate? What? And unfortunately, we are back here, yeah. Because we now are subject to the torture by our great and magnificent GM, Lord Jexatronic the um, Fourth. I like that. I'm going to keep it. <laughs> you you got to keep it. Uh, how about you give us a quick introduction here, Jexas? Uh, you're going to be you're going to be leading the show here tonight. So. Uh... Yeah, I'm I'm Jexas. Uh... I'm the MC, as they call it, for this game, The Sprawl. We're going to be playing a cyberpunk RPG where uh, all of these guys... Uh, where am I sitting? Yeah, all of the, those guys, I think. I don't know whether it's mirrored or not. Anyway, everywhere around <laughs> are, are going to play characters. Um, professionals. Criminals. People who want to make money. Hmm. Um, and I'll be the one who tries to guide them, help them out. Probably not help. Get them killed. Um, and have some fun. Uh, yeah, that's that's me. Perfect. Thank you so much. Um, you know what? How about we just do all You're the uh... muted by Rolik. Uh, so <laughs> professional. Um, yep. So uh, thank you so much. As I was saying, um, how about we go down the line and then you know we hand it over to you for the uh, the rest of the show. So let's see. Next up in line will be Alex. Actually, could you give us oh. a quick introduction and then. And... Plug yes. whatever you want to I, am, I am Alex, um, also known as fake underscore Alex underscore blue on Twitter. Um, and I am a queer feminist artist and maker of things, um, player of games. And today in this game, I am playing Amy Feedback, who is our team's fixer. Um, she's the one with all the connections. Um, and if you if you need something, Amy probably knows the person, <laughs> uh, and she could talk the face of a horse. One day I want to see that tested in real life. Yeah, have <laughs> robotic horse, and and Amy will detach its face. 
not even a problem. <laughs> it's, it's voice encrypted, so it's just a password and a face detached. Yeah, it's like... Kill switch. Perfect. Yeah, like in Westworld. <laughs> no spoilers. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, perfect. Thank you so much. Uh, next up is Vainan. Could you give us a quick introduction? Uh, hello, I'm Vainan. Uh, I'm a tabletop RPG newbie, uh, but a big cyberpunk fan. And I play Bishop, and uh, Bishop is of the Soldier Playbook, a very uh, mission-oriented character. Um, and I try to make sure that our mission succeeds and that we get paid. That's like the most important part here. And I hope to be this super cool, let's get everything together, Hannibal type of <laughs> character. But maybe I'll die. We'll see. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, perfect. Thank you so much. <laughs> I'll, I'll... <laughs> Stop threatening the players, Jexus. God. Just... I thought I told you to mix the medicine in before he started the stream right now. Just... I, I, I tried, but he, he rolled for it, and I rolled a six. It was useless. Uh, oh, well. So, uh, Kuthor, could, you give us a... <laughs> could you give us a quick introduction uh, who you are, why you're here? Why, why are you here? I, I don't know why I'm here. I think I was just the padding, you know, if we needed some extra people to sit in these seats, so I thought I'd turn up. Um, I am I play Webb, the hacker. He hacks things. Yep. Very succinct, very accurate. Thank you so much. And um, finally, Fob, 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 Fob. Mind give us an introduction. Hi. Yeah, uh, I'm Fub or Fub 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 on all things that require usernames of more than three characters, such as Twitch and Twitter. Uh, um, <clears throat> excuse me. I play Trip, the infiltrator, and Trip infiltrates things, and then does his thing. Uh, makes sure. Yeah, that that's that what he uh, that's what he does, uh, and I think. Um, um, I took Amy and Webb along in my backpack and we <laughs> infiltrated together. Mm -hmm. We were we were the little ducklings to your mother duck. Mother duck skills, so useful. And of course, um I myself, um Brona Gamer. If you don't know who I am, how'd you get here? And and but okay, yeah. Uh, I'll be playing Silence on the Wire today, the uh, most likely candidate to die early and young, um, and and hopefully, you know, not subject to uh, Jexotronic the Fourth's terrible, terrible whims. We all know he is a capricious DM. So, um, Jexus, would you like to would you like to take over the show and and get us going in the tabletop RPG festivities? Sure, I'm gonna kick it over to Alex. It was a prologue. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's what an MC does. It's, I don't right. know if you do anything. Disclaim <laughs> all decision making or responsibility whatsoever. Cool. Well, all right. Um, I think I think we see we see some like static TV static, um, and the static clears, and we're in like a police interview room. Um, and it's recorded footage. And we see Amy Feedback uh, sitting there and she's she's looking worse for wear, let's say. Um, one of her eyes is um, swollen, almost, almost shut, like almost completely shut. Um, it's clear she's been roughed up. And um, she, it looks at first like she's responding to someone who we can't hear. Um, she's like, Yes, the evening, the evening of the thirtieth. I've I've already told you about this. Is it is is it necessary we go over it again? Okay, all right. Well, like I said, I wasn't there. I heard about the meeting from Webb. Yes, that that's him. That's right. Uh, they they met their Mister Sanchez, which is that culturally inappropriate name they have for a for an anonymous contact. Uh, out by the Nabavox shipyard, outside the Vonnegan building. You know, I I didn't go. But uh, yes, later at the uh, at the HK Exotic Pet Store, 
that's that's where we all met up. The mission? Well, we discussed the details right there, and it was to infiltrate an altered Vista's facility. It sounded simple at first. Recover a chip, data chip, applied mathematics. Extract the data or the chip, preferably both, and get out. From there, I uh, I met my contact. Uh, is, is there really any need to go into this? Okay, all right. Marcus Van Lith, he's an academic at the Masters in Johnson building, the, the Altered Vistas facility. Yes, that's right, that's where they're storing it, or they were. Uh, I met him at a club and he agreed to furnish me with floor plans and a key card. No, he, he wasn't happy about it, but you know, it's ill-advised to speak ill of the dead, right? Poor Marcus, he didn't deserve it. Like we cut to um, a bit later. And um, like the, the interview is continuing and, and he says, yes, trip, trip and silence. They, they case the joint. Uh, silence on the wire posed as, as if she was writing a story or a broadcast, I suppose, about the campus. Uh, and that served as, as a distraction for Trip to get hands on research uh, locations, guard patrols, access points. That's, that's how we got the data. Um, I met, I knew we needed some more supplies. So I contacted Takeichi, you know, the, the tech dealer. I mean, ostensibly he runs a legitimate business, but if you need something a little bit, mm, gray, let's say, gray market, Takaikichi's your man. I hate that fucker. At the reception? Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's right. Uh, Silence was there doing her reporter thing. Um, she provided the perfect distraction together with Bishop. The, the receptionist uh, didn't have, didn't see, well, there was some coffee spilt, let's put it this way. And uh, it, it caused enough of, an, enough of a distraction that the guards uh, were paying attention to her while Trip led me and Webb through the uh, elevator to the sub-basement uh, in that building. We were posing as, uh, well, we were disguised, obviously. Um, downstairs, we plugged into the terminal um, and Webb started doing his hacker thing. And that's just about where things started to go wrong. And I think that's actually where we left it. So like, I imagine that then we cut into our action wherever we are. Wait, I, I wish I could tell you to regain one of your conditions, but you know, I don't have any conditions. Wrong game. <laughs> right. um, Feel free to like roll black back the action <coughs> if you want. Like that's cool. Uh, no, I'm kidding. I'm totally kidding. Don't do that. You almost had him. Yeah. I'm not going to. <laughs> yeah, I didn't think so. Damn it. Um, <laughs> yeah, that was that was awesome. Yeah, cool. Um, I think, Web, you were sort of going toe to toe with uh, red ice in the matrix uh, as you were trying to yes, uncover the, the data, find the data. 
Um, the ice had taken on the form of a red Pac-Man ghost, and I had yeah, exactly. blown it to pieces with my Doom BFG acting all cool. What, did you or were you going to? I, I think hmm. that no. I was... I, I, well, it was I was using one of my holes from my cowboy count uh, console cowboy skill, right? Um, to do it, I don't think we had done it was, and then oh, seen the yeah. aftermath. But let's, uh, let's have a look at the uh, at the at the move. Uh, zips, zips. Can't find it. Oh, there we go. Yeah, so uh, I think console cowboy allows you to prevent it from triggering an alert, uh, mm -hmm. avoid um, avoid a routine from executing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because uh, uh, I rolled my console cowboy and I got three hold. Yeah, and I, I remember I used one hold to uh, prevent an alarm from triggering. If I remember correctly, there was a moment where uh, Trip and Amy, who were sort of watching over my, you know, sort of drooling almost lifeless body as if you know, lights and such flash in my head there was a moment where everything went red as the alarm started but then i used one of those holds to stop it so it just cleared up again exactly uh, and then i was about to use another hold to uh avoid the ice routine yeah and the routine i think i was trying to trigger was let's see I think it was going to attack you, or at least damage your cyber deck. I can't mm -hmm. remember. Um, mm -hmm. If that's not the thing, because you can't, you can't stop it from 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 forming, right? It's it's there, it's materialized, and if you want to get rid of it, then you'd need to melt ice with the uh, matrix move, because your console cowboy can't destroy it. So okay. what, what the ice routine means is that um, I've got a list of things that um, that ice can do. Which is trigger an alarm or attack you or uh, call in reinforcements or trace you or detect whatever, and you can prevent those from from happening. So you can sort of block those actions. Okay. <clears throat> so what I think uh, happens uh, in the matrix and and Amy and Trip, you are completely unaware of this, is that uh, um, yeah you are struggling with this uh, with this red ice as it's try desperately trying to sort of harm you or harm your cyber deck. Um, and it's trying to sort of, I think in the matrix, you see, um, I think we decided it was one of those space invaders monsters, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. The, the red Pac-Man ghost. Yeah. Oh, yeah, the Pac-Man ghost. Yeah. And it's just trying to bite your persona. Uh, um, so, yeah. For, for my image here, is this, so how does the cyberspace work here? Is this like super fast time? So is all of this, you know, this lengthy stuff for, for web, does that just take like matters of seconds for, for trip I and then... It should. It should. Uh, okay. It's not. It's, I don't think it's stated in the book, but I, I, I imagine that it's sort of similar to how Shadowrun deals with it, just to have you on a sort of increased initiative, where you just can do uh, a lot more things than others can do in a in a round. Um, so yeah, yeah. It, this this is just a matter of, of seconds, right? So you, uh, Amy and Trip, see the light blink once, and just as the light stops. That's also, you know, when where, you know, that's also the moment where where the thing has already attacked Web, basically, and, and maybe some other stuff has happened as well. Um, so it's it's trying to uh, let's see, it's trying to damage you, uh, Web. So it's trying to to bite you. Essentially, that means that it, you lower one of your Cyberdex ratings by one, um, okay. and either that happens or you ha or you spend one of those holds you have. Uh, I will. I will spend one of those holds. Okay. And and what does that look like? Um, I think maybe what happens is um, is that uh, I quickly, you know, sort of, I see this thing is about to, you know, blink its way towards me. I just sort of do this, and then a jetpack sort of voxels down from the sky and I just right yeah I'm just sort of using it to like dodge around now I'm being chased okay cool very vi retro video gamey um 
Let's see. Uh, yeah. So yeah. Okay. Yeah. So you, you jump out of the way and you're trying to evade this the, this ice that's that's sort of following you and trying to to get rid of you, uh, get this weird thing out of its systems. Uh, what, what do you what do you do? What's your your next? What's your plan? Okay. Uh, I guess I will try to melt the ice. Okay. Uh, if it's all possible. Uh, okay. Let me find where the move is there it is in the book so uh you roll edge mm -hmm. and when you attempt to evade destroyer disable and activate it ice construct you roll edge on the seven plus you evade destroyer temporarily disable the system your choice on the okay. seven to nine on the seven to nine the system successfully executes a routine before you can disable it okay uh i get a plus one forward from uh still following Bishop's plan, yes. Absolutely, yeah. Yeah, you're sticking to his plan. Such a cool mechanic. That's a 10, 11. That's a 10, 11. Nice. So, yeah, okay, so... How do you destroy this thing? It's you, You're you sort of jumping around, flying around, and this thing is sort of floating after you. Okay. Um, yeah, I think I'm, you know, I, I use the jetpack to sort of up into the sky, and I land on another platform, and the, jetpack sort of because it's only a temporary thing right it's like i've hacked the game to get a temporary power up the jetpack just voxels away from my back and then i look down sort of over this precipice of this um this platform that i've landed on and i see that the the ghost is sort of you know back and forth trying to get at me and i just think hang on this is a retro platformer and i jump on its head jump on top of it yeah, it just, <laughs> right, cool. yeah. yeah it just it sort of Sort of breaks down into these little tiny voxels or pixels or whatever. Yeah, just like just a pile, and they disappear. Um, and um, yeah, before you you um, you see the um, let's see, because this happened because you tried to find the the, the data, right? Uh, yes, I you think I tried to do a try to compromise security, if I'm correct. Uh, I think I did. Yes, let me check. Uh... But I rolled mind, so I think that was compromised security. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Uh, it's, uh, yeah. So yeah, you, you you're in now, uh, and I was want to quickly switch back to silence and uh, bishop, because you guys you were being led by uh, led away to the office of a man or woman. I think silence. You you mentioned a name, and I can't remember what it was because I didn't write it down at the time. Oh, I was talking to George, the security guard. And I was going for an appointment with. Uh, let me see if I made a note. I don't think we. I mean, did. It doesn't matter because we can pick a, a, another name. That's, that's fine. No, I don't think I've made a note. Basically, uh, what I want to know is who this 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 person is, what what their job is. So a name and a and a job position, basically. <laughs> um, let's see. I I'd, I'd imagine it'd be something like Mr. Kurosawa, who is like a junior vice president like fancy title but all that it means is basically he's like the daycare the daytime manager of, of like a you know a, a team here all right okay yeah yeah so this guard is uh is, you know instead of telling you where you need to go he's taking you uh, where you need to go um oh god uh, the entire time so Sans is trying to sort of you know I am bishop like oh god oh god i've got nothing i've got nothing yeah so, so he's sort of leading where, you down the where... Okay. Um, yeah, and feel free to interrupt know, that. That's fine. Would we know if he would be taken as someplace else instead of that office, or is it something? Um, that we know? Yeah, I'm just thinking, I'm trying to see if you can can make, if you can make a move to to. I mean, you could assess the situation, I guess, uh, if you wanted to. Uh, which means that you'd be rolling edge. Okay. What do you think? Um, hmm. But on the whole, I think uh, the way the way things went last, like last session, I'm I'm not sure if you'd be suspicious of this. But I, I it's totally up to you, of course. Because then again, you know, if you're if you're trying to assess and you're asking me what possible complication could there be, then that's sort of signaling to me that there'd be a complication in the first place, right? That there's going to be uh, a complication. 
I see. <laughs> this, is the, this is the thing you have to realize whether or not are you right to find out that pocket is already there, or are you forcing the DM to make something up? Okay, on no complications. We're moving along. <laughs> All right, yeah. That, that's okay, pretty so... much the play by the apocalypse. As soon as you say, I search for traps, there's a trap. Yeah, yeah, basically. Um, so, yeah, he's taking you down a long, like, uh, a long hallway, um, like, on the first floor, probably. So he's taking you up the stairs and then uh, along the uh, hallway. And there's all, all sorts of, like, um, like uh, LED screens uh, with, uh, with, like, only, like, the commercials for, um, for, uh, for Altered Vistas, right? It's, it's just, uh, there's yeah. nothing else. It's just Altered Vistas. Um, new program to learn any you know, sort of any skill that you want. They can teach people it to you playing for, piano uh, perfectly. People just and, uh... exactly, and there's these ads for for less uh, fortunate students who possibly you know couldn't afford uh, such uh, such uh, such an education. There's programs for them as well. We have um, on the job training at Altered Vistas. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Right, uh, and, and the interest is low. McDonald's yeah. brand. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, correct me, correct me if I'm wrong, but um, silence. You have comms gear, don't you? Mm -hmm. Yeah, full on. Um, uh, let me see. I think I can put a picture up here. Uh, full on recording uh, gear and so on. There we go. There's a picture. Yeah. yeah. Right. Um, well. I would say that like Amy Feedback has uh, encrypted comms as well. That's one of the things that I chose when I created her character. Um, so like you could be in touch with us uh, almost like you would hardly need to whisper to, to send the message. Um, oh yeah. Cause we, we both have um, an encrypted gear for a call. Uh, I mean, you mentioned it, I believe I have, let me see if I can, there we go. I have, signal blocker thing i remember oh you do yeah i have a jammer that's good cool um, um but yeah so there's there's a whole like a long hallway with all these screens and i think the imagery and uh, like the, the the flashing of the lights and it's sort of it's sort of getting ridiculous right they're really trying to push this thing like sell it really selling it um and uh the guard is sort of you know, at a brisk pace, just taking you where you want to go, and you can see that there's little like um, like physical signs with names on it of people, um, I, so I sort think, of like. Um, old... and, yeah. and you have maybe thirty seconds to decide if you really want to go to this guy's office, um, I think or if, if you want to do something else. While he's leading us down, is um, I, I think science is basically doing one of those narratives that serve no purpose other than signal to to Amy exactly where they are, like a. Oh my, this is a long hallway. Does this lead complete? Is this fully in the east corridor? Does this lead directly to the office building? Oh, that's amazing. Just. I, yeah, at this point, that's good. And I think Bishop is walking uh, fairly relaxed. I have the skill wires, so I have the skill chips. Mm -hmm. As talked about, one is the martial arts chip, uh, the other one is to be determined. Yeah. But I think the martial arts one is like perfectly suitable. To maybe change this current situation, and I just do a small squeeze and silence uh, upper arm just to check, you know, like with the eyes, like you think this is the moment, and I just wait for a signal. Just tell me when I will just drop this guy. Okay, so we're walking in this hallway. There's that guy's escorting us. Is it sort of is it a busy hallway, a quiet hallway? Oh what? no, 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 no. It's it, this is like. Sort of like an administrative wing, right? And um, I, there's no one there. Is there are there cameras? Uh, yes, yes, of course, of course, of course. <laughs> okay, do we do we want to cause trouble here? Are we gonna do this? If I were to use my jamming, would that jam the camera signals? I don't know. Would it? Um... Somebody's currently in their computer systems. <laughs> Just uh, saying. It, it, it probably up. wouldn't. Jam what the jamming thing <laughs> says. Not, uh, um, not I don't think I, I don't think it would. No, logically it doesn't. It wouldn't unless no, they're, they're wireless cameras, yeah, right? No, you're um, you're... Let's see. You could you could have something that introduces visual noise, but it would be like a chaff grenade or a chaff generator. Yeah, so jamming so permits the jamming really of communications <laughs> that lack the encrypted tag. No, it, it's no. Yeah, that re that's really for like the type of communications that Silence and Amy are using right now. Okay. Yep. Those, yep. Are, those are encrypted, so can't use your jamming thing on that but 
No, no, these are wired cameras. You have, you have to choose now, Silence. You're getting really close to the door. Okay, uh, you know what? We're going to be in big trouble. Uh, I think what Silence does, um, I'll just describe what I'm imagining she'll do. We'll pick out what move fits, uh, uh, basically. But um, she's sort of walking along. She, she, you know, feels the squeeze, looks around, and, and sees that look from Bishop. You know, the, the one that communicates, like, I can just, like that. Ah, uh, yes. The, flame, the famous player character look. <laughs> everything in the dictionary at once everything perfectly all the nuance no i mean it, 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 it's clear he's queer he's looking at it like okay come on what um and uh, what i want to do with the uh, science is basically just trip just like while she's talking just go like oh god and just, just try and sort of pull him down like try and follow up like oh my god oh god you know um toss I, i'm sure i have something like a bag with me just just make it scatter just I uh, you know, are, just... are, you, are you wearing heels right now? Uh, sure. I think. I mean, maybe you could like push down on one of your heels in a weird way and snap one of your heels. Oh, you that's more. nice. That's nice. Yeah. So why don't you why don't you act under pressure for me? Because this is like a like a, a like a snap decision that you have to make. So why don't you roll your cool and see what happens? Okay, I roll my cool. Um, I'm making a distraction, so I get the plus one four because I'm following Bishop's orders. Um, cool, you said, right? Act under pressure. Yeah. Uh, let me let me broadcast that one. I have uh, one for it. Uh, the problem is, cool isn't my um, forte, so... Uh, it is oh. your cool. Uh, I'm, I'm too cool. Let's Post see what cool. we do. That's an eight. All right. <laughs> uh, <that's>... uh, <laughs> yeah, I think that's, yeah. it's a success. Yeah, so, you know, um, you, you, you make yourself trip um against this guy but you you sort of miscalculate so you, you grab onto him and you sort of turn and, and back up into bishop basically so bishop now you have silence in between you and the guy that you actually wanted to take out um uh, yeah. well aren't you supposed to offer me a worse outcome a hard bargain or an ugly choice oh i need to offer you something all right that sounds like uh, a worse outcome to me right <laughs> yeah yeah well, I mean, this is no, this is what happens, right? I can either offer you an ugly choice, which is, I, I could do that. We could, do, we could do, we could, we could do this. We we could just have you fall flat on your face, or, um, or you 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 know sort of bump into this guy and and grab him and and you're sort of all entangled up, you know, sort of in the way for Bishop to actually do do anything. Um, Bishop, Bishop, take them, oh, take them both out. I, <laughs> in a hostage situation, shoot the hostage. Now, um, let's do that. I, I have a suggestion. Um, maybe as well, if if um, science is trying to... Uh, okay, Indy is hunting something in the green screen. That's what's happening in the background. Um, since he's trying to uh, snap a heel, how about just you know, sprain an ankle really badly so that sort of she's really limping and then... Five arm. Ooh. <laughs> no, that'd be... Yeah, okay, yeah. So you know what you what you what you uh, set out to do, you succeed, but you take one one harm for a sprained ankle, um, which means that you also have to roll the harm move now, which is a new thing. We have a number for. Oh, that's interesting. Uh, let's see. Where do I where do I mark harm? I do. Let's see. At the top of your sheet on the right hand side. Uh, right hand. Oh, there we go. Harm. So it's now at three. Three. Yeah. Ah, that's how that works. Okay, and then the clock advances. Okay. Yeah. And... Uh, so when you suffer harm, even zero harm or S harm, you uh, lower the harm suffered by the level of your armor, if any. Well, you don't have any. Mm -hmm. Actually, maybe maybe one harm is too much. Let's make it S harm. Uh, so it's it's stun stun damage basically. You and and fictionally you sprained an ankle. So set, set the clock back to twelve. Okay. Um, but you. St Still got to roll the harm move, basically. Um, okay, so uh, it says here roll harm, so I'm going to click that. Harm yeah. suffered. Uh, how do I? Is that then zero? Uh, yeah. So basically, you roll. It's it's zero, and and what it means is you roll two d six, and you want to get a low result. Okay. Okay, let's roll this baby then. That's a six. That's good. All right. Okay. That's the. Um, 
Nothing happens. Yeah, okay. Really? Oh. Yeah. So I think I think you sprain an ankle and you sort of bump into this guy or or you distract him. Uh, he he maybe uh, he tries to sort of catch you. Uh, so he's completely focused on silence. Um, so Bishop, if you want to, you can take this guy out. I think this seems good. This seems good. So he's holding silence, and uh, that means like he his arms are. Uh, holding silence at the moment. His head is completely free. I can just immediately hit for his temple, try to knock him out in one blow. Yeah, you can, you can, uh, that's, uh, I think, uh, mix it up. Would be oh, the, uh, yeah. When you use violence against an armed force to seize control of an objective, actually, wait. Mm. Hmm. Let's see. Maybe you don't actually have to You've got your skill wires loaded up, right? Your martial arts stuff. Yeah. This guy's distracted. I think you could just do this. Uh, let just t just describe to us what this looks like. How do you how do you disable or take him out? You throw him <laughs> <laughs> what happens? Because he's facing towards me. No, he's facing away from you. I, I, I imagine this sort of like you have the guard in the in in the middle, and then you have sort of silence on the left, and you you are on the right. Silence oh, yeah. sort of in a weird way. The guard turns, tries to catch. Jensen. Do the Jensen. Jensen. Oh, that's cool. Do the tap on the shoulder. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think I would go for a straight liver punch. And I him right there. And he scares, like his eyes go completely wide. Like, what the hell is that? And I just snap him right in the temple. And he would just wow. collapse. Right. <laughs> so do you kill him or do you just knock him out? No, this is knocking him out. Okay. He said Adam Jensen, so it's knocking out now. <laughs> so it's, it's sort of that cold, efficient, you don't move an inch beyond what you need to just get him down. Uh... Two hits immediately, like one for to paralyze his body, and you got to to knock him out. Yeah. So I setting think the Amy... bar here for future things, just so you know. <laughs> I think, Amy, you hear this, this sort of kerfuffle go down. Um, do, you, do, you, do you do anything? Do you say anything? I think Trip has no yeah. idea that it's going down. I think, I think Amy turns to Trip and says, like, we might have a situation developing. Silence. Silence. What's going on? Um, I guess silence on the floor, like, oh, God, I actually sprained my ankle. Oh, God, it hurts. We're, silence, we're... come in. Uh, hello? Hello? I hear you. Okay, we're, we're stuck at a corridor. They were... They were bringing us to admin offices. We just, just Bishop just took out a guard. I, I have no idea where we are. We, I think we need to get out. We, we need more time. This is taking longer than I expected. Oh God! I, I, oh. God. And I look, I look at, I look at Webb, and and like, he's yeah, like, <laughs> still like hooked up. And this was supposed to take what, ten seconds, and it's already been fifteen seconds. And like, starting to get nervous here. Um, Okay, I have an idea, but it's going to be risky. Go ahead. I call all hell and tell him he fainted. We're going to get we're, we're going to get just first aid on here. We're going to get all the attention we can because this guy just just fell to the floor. It I don't know, low blood sugar, I don't know what happened. It's it it will mean we're going to have to run very quickly. Trip you did the research. What's what's their security procedure in the event of an emergency? Do we know? If they're going to lock us down, that's no good. I'll spend my hold from the assess that I did when I was mm -hmm. casing the joint to spread this knowledge. All right. So well, that's the assess move. Go ahead. Spend spend something. Um. Yeah. So the um. Um, uh, the first aid kit and the and the AED is uh, with the receptionist. Um, uh, so basically, if there's an alarm sounded, uh, then um, uh, people who are trained in CPR or or first aid will convene at the um, uh, at the receptionist and see what is needed and then go wherever the emergency is. Yeah, that sounds fair. Yeah. So we'll be busy at the receptionist. Um, but it but shouldn't then... affect us. No. Okay, good. Go ahead, silence. We're okay with that. 
All right. Starting the ditzy blonde routine. Let's go. And, um, right. I, you know, I, I guess that's sort of maybe where the scene then fades away is just silence going, oh, my God. Help, help. Yeah. He just faded. Yeah. 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 I, 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 over him, trying to position him like he suddenly fainted and being, like, real careful. <laughs> Are you okay? <laughs> yeah. <Just> a... <laughs> There's people running up, right, and and sort of asking you know, what happened, and they're they you know there's uh, people coming up with uh, like a, like a man come running up with uh, with like a first aid kit, and uh, and and someone else is already calling for uh, for an ambulance. Um, uh, Webb, you are uh, sort of we we flash back to the Matrix. Um, you are uh, looking at uh, like a huge amount of uh, filing cabinets. Um, and I meant to read the Matrix chapter again because I couldn't find it. But you know what you're looking for, and I'm not sure if you need to do a roll to actually find this this thing, this data. Okay. Um, and I'm not sure. Maybe Alex, do you do you know? Sorry. Um, do I know how he'd find the data? Yeah. Hmm. No, I don't. Sorry. <laughs> I, I haven't, I'm not that uh, clued into the Matrix side of things because it's not. Yeah, give me a second. Sorry. Uh, let's see, where is the Matrix? Oh, there we go. So, there is, this is a database and there's a number of routines you can trigger. I think you'd just be able to find it, to be honest. The uh, find pay data move is for extra stuff, I think. Yeah, that's for, that's for ex extra stuff. Yeah, so I think this is just, yeah, it takes some time, you know, it takes some time to, to for you to actually find the data, but you found it. So you, you can just copy that onto your, uh, onto your encrypted, or what is it? Um, yeah, my uh, uh, hair drive. Uh, yeah, I like to think that it's in rather than just uh, file cabinets, it's like two D doors to like secret levels. Mm -hmm. you know, All right, yeah. Game aesthetic, and I'm just sort of going, no, not that. I'm trying to think. You know, remember my strategy, guys? Like, not that one, not that one, not that one, not that. Ah, I've got that one. Right, yeah. And then there's a little chest, like there's you know, it's like a spinning miscellaneous something or other. Yeah. I just grab it. <laughs> Now, yeah. do we have a way, like, while you're um, jacked in, are you aware of the world outside you at all? I was actually going to ask this question. Mm -hmm. I don't think so. Let's, let's it find depends out. how we want to envision this, because in, in Shadowrun you have the three uh, systems, right? There's the augmented reality, there's the, I forget what the middle one's called, and then you've got, like, hot plug. Um... I'm... I feel for the fully in the cyber world. That that seems cool to me, at least. I'm inclined to say that as well, because it's a neural interface, so it should sort of override your your standard neural system. Yeah. I think maybe like, I mean, maybe I'd be able to know. Like, uh, you can't talk to me, right? But if you were to like grab my grab me and start shaking me vigorously, maybe I'd be like. I think yeah. I think really like physical that. sensations, you should be able to sort of like feel, touch, and 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 you know if someone kicks you or whatever, you you'd feel that and know something's up. But communication would be, I, I think, out. Like that wouldn't be wouldn't be possible, unless you'd start sending messages through screens or whatever. Yeah, that yeah. seems cool. As though they they haven't fully worked out the neural interface yet. Whereas you can control a body, but the sensation feels sort of, you know, fake or replicated. Like, yeah. like you're going it's for like the... Puffy... It's like someone's trying to tap you and you're like wearing a big puffy jacket or something. You can't quite feel it, but you know something's happening. Kind of like VR right now. It looks real, but you can still easily spot, okay, this is computer generated. This is still, mm -hmm. you know, resolution's yeah. off and... Yeah. yeah. Nice. Okay, cool. Yeah, so you have you you have what you what you came for. You have the uh, the data. Uh, you don't have the chip because that's one floor below. Yeah. Um, okay. Um, Amy, why why were you asking? Were you wanting to? I was, I was sort of 
thinking about the cameras and wondering if you could override them. Um, that's something that occurred to me. Like if you could hack the cameras so that the recorded footage um, just displays a loop, right? You know, so you take what it was recording uh, like for a few minutes or a minute before anything with us on it. Um, I feel, I feel um, that, that would be something that you planned for. You're, you're professionals, right? This is what yeah. you do. Yeah, I, I feel like no web would know to do this. Yeah. But then, I don't um, think there'd be you to actually tell this, you know, tell web to do that. Sure. Okay. But n now we have, um, like, Amy knows that something has happened somewhere else. Yeah. Yeah. And could, like, point web to which specific ones to override. That's That was all, really. Right. Yeah. Okay. But maybe, um, maybe there's, I don't know, is that there's no web can't see any indication that like an alarm there, has been raised or like, no there's like no. well um that depends you know he'd still he'd, he'd have to hack into uh like uh the um security system mm -hmm. but oh wait actually no you did because you, uh, yeah i'm already in the system but i'd have yeah. to i think i'd have to do a manipulate systems role yeah, exactly. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You're in, the, you're in the system. Yeah. You try to disable the. Uh, dis try to disable any any security. Mm -hmm. uh, you, so, makes, yeah. you, so you can do that. Uh, there's a number of uh, routines that uh, that you can trigger. Um, activate, deactivate, monitor, record, subvert, or loop a camera network. That sounds like the one you want. Um, activate or deactivate a physical alarm. Uh, activate or deactivate an electronically locked door, activate, deactivate, override or modify the targeting priorities of automated weapon systems, activate or cancel a lockdown of the entire physical facility, activate or de deactivate an electronically controlled trap. So yeah, you could, you could definitely manipulate the cameras. Where are you the, reading this? Uh, this is on page 154 of the uh, book. Ah, okay. There's there are several nodes that, that, that can exist in the matrix, and this is part of the security node. Ah, and you okay. the data and the database node, basically. Okay, cool. Um, so, so yeah, maybe, uh, maybe like as just part of the, you know, regular sort of hacking process, I've got like systems running that like check for alerts, you know, things like, you know, when a nice has been activated against me when you know specific systems have been triggered or having or like receiving like uh heightened traffic right yeah. and, I, and i think maybe when all this in the the corridor goes down then maybe they one well, you know the cameras can be on both ends of the hall like you know immediately lock into place and i just see that there's like data going back and forth you know from these things yeah um okay so um so yeah i will uh i will attempt to uh get into that system and um let's see can i uh can i just like yeah can i just delete the logs or, or not better yet? Could I? Because there's one that says loop here, isn't there? Could I like yeah. just? Could I just have um, rewind the cameras to just before uh, silence and Bishop and the guard yeah, got into it, and it just sort of plays that loop over and over again? Definitely, yeah, definitely. Okay, and I don't have to. Do I have to roll I, for that one? You know, I think you have to manipulate. You you roll manipulate systems. Okay. Where the manipulate systems comes in. And then you gain hold and you can spin that to, to trigger one of those routines that I just talked about. Aha, aha, aha. Cool. Uh, uh, all right. right. So that is a synth. And luckily enough, I'm super synthy. Now you get a plus one. Yep. Synths don't fail me now. Six, oh, eight, nine. Oh. Yeah. You gain, you gain nice. a hold. So you can spend one, one hold to do exactly what you just proposed. Well, boom. There we go. That is, that is done. So then. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Um, right. Uh, so. And would we know, like, how much time you were going to do that for? Like, because I'm assuming we're professionals. 
we would have planned this out, that you would give us a bit of a window, right? Well, it, I've just got the cameras in that in that so corridor. Are they now looping indefinitely? They're just looping, and as far as it, as far anybody who's looking at the screens, they just see a, a, an empty corridor. Just continues to be empty. Yeah. 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 And I like maybe I, maybe I'm I, I'm just I'm so good that I've even timed it so that when the adverts on like the the, the wall panels like flicker and change, I've yeah. timed it so that that looks like it's proper and it's got the yeah. correct rotation. Cool. Um, yeah. Good. So, uh, with that, I could just uh, jack out. I, but I, I, you can just you can just log off. I don't think you have to jack out because you're not in danger. Uh, well, I could just log off, but uh, I do want this chip. Yeah. So, I know that the chip is one level below me. Yes. In you know, in the physical sense, mm -hmm. um, remind me, did we were we aware of what was stopping us from just going down there? Was time. it just time? And mm -hmm. did we know anything about the security systems? Well, the thing is, I th you, you have the plans, you have the plans of the building, but you don't know in what room the chip is in. So okay. you know exactly, you know the the entire layout of the floor below you, but you just you have no idea because it's just it's an R and D center, right? There's just a lot of stuff being researched and developed there, um, and security was probably also an issue. Okay. So I'm um, I'm willing to think that we might have planned to possibly meet up in case something like this happens because just. Just because we're all sort of not really aware of each other's, you know, roles and, and characters and how they work. Um, what I'm planning on is for Silence actually to use a move called Live and On the Air. Which basically means I, uh, from what it can look like, I can avoid harm and expose my target. I'm thinking they mean harm basically here in a general term because it's not capital H harm. But to, to try and sort of basically get Bishop and, and me out as though we're, you know, on the air doing a production and just sneak off to the side and join you guys. Yeah, I think this move is intended for you to, I think in this case you'd be, maybe you'd be filming the, the entire sort, sort of incident and someone sort of moves you to the side and, and gets you out of harm's way. Exactly. Maybe they're like... Maybe there's like an attaché that's come up and he's just trying to move you off. It's like, don't look at that. No, that's, that doesn't show us in our like, a good <laughs> Exactly. Yeah. exactly. Yeah, that's great things. Yeah. Do you immediately start reporting on the guy who's collapsed? Well, I'm, I'm thinking, I'm, I'm, um, yeah, sort of like start reporting like, oh my God, he's down. And then sort of roll over and, and here we see the efficiency of this corporation. Look at how quickly the, the first aid professionals are. Sir, sir, what's your name? And just literally just yeah. until he just okay. goes like, I'm working. Just, just get. Just roll edge. Roll edge and see, see what happens. See. <laughs> this is a good idea. Um, let's see. Rolling edge. Uh, I'm creating a distraction for Bishop to get out. So that's still part of the plan. Yeah. Yeah, 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 definitely. Oh God! Uh, uh, okay. Yes. Okay. Yes. <laughs> so uh, yeah, you choose one. Uh, your story irritates the target. Uh, someone on your team gets hurt off camera. Your story yeah. angers your employer, or your rushed narrative is misinterpreted by the public with unintended consequences. <laughs> Thanks uh, so much. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I want him hurt off camera. No, uh... <laughs> you know that, that Bishop has an exit strategy, right? I can just ditch his whole mission. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but uh, I'm kind of hoping for us to sort of stay relevant somewhere down the line. Well, um, I one, one, one uh, question uh, before Silent uh, chooses, because we have some clocks, and the action clock is basically our mission clock. Yeah. And we're already three down. Yeah. And when we're six down... The mission is long. Yeah. So I'm, and, I was hoping... uh, oh, sorry, go ahead. The, out of the choices that you have right now, does one of them involve the action clock potentially yeah. increase? Uh, the uh, one is target. irritate your target advances the clock. So that's that should definitely oh, that's, be out. Oh, that's, a, that's a set clock. That's different. Ah. Something else. Oh. Um, no, it you just, know what... it's something else, and that person will will actively try to get silence on the wire somehow maybe down a dark alley punch him in the face punch her in the face or stab whatever or try to discredit you or 
something like that. We start a clock for that. Now, I, I'm, I feel like the rush narrative is misinterpreted by public with unintended consequences because that'll just create story down the line. That'll pay off in, in the long run, I think. Yeah, okay. Um, that is basically you just writing, Jexus, please f me on yeah, your forehead. That's what that, that is. That's going to be the best for us down the line. That's going to be I, interesting. I, I'm, I'm happy shooting Pac-Man ghosts and jetpacks with the secret doors. I'm, I'm, I'm happy where I am. You're not happy where you are. Yeah, where... okay, yeah, no, this is for this. <laughs> yeah, I really, I'm, this is I'm really happy. Yeah. I'm so happy. You're can, super scared can... of altered vistas, and you're now like down there, sub level, blah, blah, in their system. <laughs> and you're I, imagine, I imagine, you're Silent, uh, place, <laughs> you're, you're reporting on something that happens on altered vistas campus. Um, and someone has collapsed, and your your reporting sort of makes it seem as if it's their fault, right? This is this is something that I was, uh, you know, uh, um, this this you know altered vistas made you know made this man collapse. So it's like you turn the story into like altered vistas stress out their employee employees oh, yeah. and <laughs> like that. Oh. Um, yeah, it it gets picked up as in terrible working conditions in altered vistas and uh... yeah. Yeah, so we're gonna yeah okay yeah. People faking work accidents just to get workman uh, workman's comp and. Uh... Yeah yeah okay cool. <laughs> I, I kind of want to see because right now for a while we've had a fixer and our top infiltrator just sitting there just going like oh come on come on come on just. What's happening yeah. with you guys? Exactly what's happening? We basically you're waiting, but we've been waiting for a couple of seconds basically, right? Like half a minute, a minute tops. Yeah. But it's and the not... stuff that happened with you guys sort of happened from start to like like until the moment sort of like web is now finished. That's that's what happens. That's what happened with you. Oh, web's not finished. Well, yeah, yeah okay. Because <laughs> I think, correct me if I'm wrong, Trep, but I think that we were expecting to wait at this point. Like we were expecting web to to jack in. Um, and then essentially we guard his body um and it shouldn't take very long like we it's just uh you know yeah. like just keep an eye out um and then no time at all we'll be moving on right that, but it's that, was the that was the plan that's basically the task that bishop gave webb was get the data yeah. the moment webb decides like i'm going for the chip now that's where you lose your one forward because you're deviating from the plan yeah you know no. Well, that's where that's where Web will lose his plus one. <laughs> yes, yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. To be be correct, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just just making sure. But it is um, Web does mm -hmm. now he loses his plus one forward because he got the data. That it's that, it's done. That does yeah, make me we... think. Trips. Um, oh, sorry, Alex. Uh, tri trips uh, command was to get Web in. So does that mean that if they get Web in further to get the chip, that is that still following the order? That would be my interpretation. I'd 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 be inclined to say yes. Once you once you were getting web out, you are no longer getting web in, right? That's that's <laughs> the that's the directions, I suppose. Right? Yeah, I think it's the system really the right direction rather than this. Um, teach, this teaches Bishop to 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 sort of phrase his uh, his orders. Be, be careful <laughs> what you wish for. Yeah, these are like genie's wishes. <laughs> Genie. <laughs> but yeah, um, okay. Um, uh, Trip, what do you want to do? We we sort of glossed over you for for a while. Right now, you're an old man sitting in the basement <laughs> waiting for a young man to finish his job. So once Web sort of resurfaces, I'll... I, I'm I'm not planning on doing that just now. Okay. All right. Let's switch. That's <laughs> nice. Okay, so let's just... Yeah, what Web wants to do. I mean, unless you start like shaking me, being like, "Get out of there, you damn!" Um, no, I wanted to. Um, so, can I can I see the options that are available to me? Can I see what systems are down there? Yeah. So, or do I have to roll? Like, like a floor below, you mean? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I want to know. Like, is it is it like? I, I mean, think you're in the general security cameras, alarms, computer systems. Are there any yeah. robotics yeah. that I might so be able to get a hold there's of? A, there's a security node for physical security systems, which uh, 
which which sort of which means cameras, sensors, and a gun turret. Okay. Um, you can access the building services node. Okay. Which just operates Wait, lights. did you did you say gun turret? Yeah. There is a gun. Yep. Okay, yeah, no, just, just, <laughs> what, just uh, Trip is looking around rooms and they're going, whoa, when did that really get here? <laughs> well, this is the floor below. There's a production yeah. control system which sort of starts and stops production lines and research stuff. Uh -huh. um, actually, that's not true. No, that one isn't there, sorry. No, yeah, there's an R&D control system which, which uh, functions, uh, you know, um, seal or unseal hermetically controlled area, stuff like that, right? Okay. Um, and uh, the databases you've already discovered. Mm -hmm. So there's no. Um... And then you can you can access the root directory as well, which allows you to change user permissions and uh, activate or deactivate ICE, that sort of stuff. Yeah. Okay. So, is there a system by which prod like projects? Mm hmm. That, so, you know, it's research and development, right? So there's ongoing files open for various things. Is there yeah. a system by which I can mark projects as completed, ready for shipment? Uh, let's ah. see. Example routines for R&D control system, uh, say, initiate or rescind a test process, change test parameters. That sounds appropriate, sort of down the line. Mm -hmm. That's Seal or unseal controlled area, activate or deactivate emergency protocols. I see no reason why that would not be included in an R&D control system. Okay. You know, flagging, flagging items now, for how, pick yeah, uh, Now, how automated is that system? But, okay, I'm, I'm, rather than dancing around the issue, I'm just going to tell you what I want, right? I want to mark this control chip as being completed, all tests are done, and it's ready for shipment. And then I literally just want to tell all the robot arms and stuff that do all their business down there, Put this in a package and send it to me. <laughs> you could do that. That is one. That is a. That is a heist. That is a caper. You you could do that. Yeah, of course. Yeah, and I want it to just be like so. Like I want to lower like the security rating so much that it's like. Yeah. Okay. So there's a couple of things. Even though it's, it's just like, oh yeah, this is the stuff that we shovel out every five seconds, but there just happens to be a tiny. Bit. There's a, there's a couple of things that you need to do. You need to create. Okay user permission for yourself uh -huh. and then you need uh your address in the database okay and then you so, need to so pack the current address yeah that's what i'm somewhere like somewhere else i don't i think i i think i wrote yeah, like, 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 like a po box don't I? yeah uh, and then and then you need to hack into the control system to mark it as complete and and ready for shipping so, so that's, that's three steps it's three steps, yeah. Three steps, okay. Hmm. <laughs> what could right, you possibly need go as, wrong? You need to flag yourself as an employee, which yeah. means setting user permissions. Uh, actually, you need to first create your, your yourself as an employee in the database. Then you set ah, the user permissions. Ah, and then ah, you aha, 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 aha. Was I or was I not a student here at one point? Unofficial. Yes. Unofficially. But aren't they not... hunting for you? <laughs> yeah, but you know, they already know that I've screwed them up. What's this? You know, if I just flag up my account again, they're just going to be no, he's back. He's been back in the system. So, like, eh. I mean, they're already looking for me. What's the harm in just being like, see you, suckers? Look, um, just so you know, go ahead. <laughs> um, Silence did do some pre work on this, fortunately, did some general research. So, we have a couple of questions on the research list that we could potentially ask if we need to. And that includes things such as where would I find blank and how secure is blank? Yeah. So, if we need to, yeah. we, can, we can use those questions. But well, I think, I, yeah. We have uh, Marcus Fanleth. Who actually? Yeah, why not? Why not use him? Yeah. Uh, yeah, there we go. <laughs> I don't give a shit. I've never met the guy. Um, Let, let's, let's 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 do it like this. Let's take a uh, three-minute break. Would okay. Yeah. <laughs> talk about it in the break, mm -hmm. and then when we get back, we uh, we do whatever you want. We we I, do. Uh, we choose the less suicidal option. Let's do five minutes. 
<laughs> All right, we'll take a couple of minutes and we'll be right back with you.
Hello everyone, we are back again, ready to get going, uh, re ready to, to um, well, see if we can get out of this in a slightly professional manner. Yeah, so, uh, so I'm just going to pick an overview for you guys uh, and for viewers. Um, in the main building, like at the reception, we have Silence and Bishop. They've been sort of, sort of, you know, hurried away from the, the scene of the... Uh, of the collapse of the man who was so stressed out that he felt the need to lie down on the floor and go, you know, and, and have a nap. Um, two floors below that, we see Webb uh, plugged into uh, a console, and he's he's desperately sort of surfing the matrix, looking for stuff. And right next to Webb, we see Amy and Trip waiting. Webb, you have a plan. What is your plan? I do. My plan is that we are two floors below uh, Bishop and Silence, but another floor below us still is a lovely chip that I have been told about. Now, the plan, the plan, as has been instructed by Bishop, is to get the data and to get out. The chip was secondary. But there's some juicy stuff that Webb just, he can't resist. He is a hacker, he must hack, he must get at these things, there are secrets, and he must uncover them. Yeah. So his plan is to, because it's an R&D lab, uh, he is, wants to mark this ship, essentially, as, a, as project complete, ready for shipment. To do this, he is thinking that he will uh, log in using a staff, in, you know, he just like look at the directory, pick one and hack into that, then use that to then flag the, uh, the, the project that the chip is a part of as complete, have that then be ready for shipping, and have the, uh, the, uh, the, the recipient, the, the delivery address, be just sort of a neutral drop-off point, which you know, yeah, you know, go and get at a later date. Okay, let's uh, let's get cracking. So we established that you need to you, you're you're looking for uh, a pansy, a fall guy, basically. I am, yes. All right. Um, it seems to me that you'd want to edit some records. Yes, I probably would. All right, so you want to manipulate the systems of the database. I do indeed. So you roll, I, will I think, roll synth. Synth it is indeed. Let me, where's my character sheet? Add it somewhere, there it is. I shall synth it up. Now I don't get my plus one forward because this is not a part of the plan. Exactly. So, tally ho, gentlemen. That's, I'm, that's yep. okay. Yeah, that's a thirteen. You I'm in. Three hold over the subsystem you're manipulating. Okay. You're lucky son of a gun. So, uh, right now I need to flip back a few pages to see the things that I can and cannot do, and I need control systems. Uh, so, I would like to spend uh, one hold to mark the relevant project as complete. Uh, that's in a different subsystem. Right now, we're, subsystem, trying, okay. we're trying to identify a man or woman. Oh, okay. Who's, okay. Uh, who's going to receive said package, except you're going to change the address now. Ah, oh, okay, okay. So, so basically, that's that's one. I think one hold to edit a record of a random employee at okay. this facility. Well, it won't be totally random. I'd like it to be. Can is there like a way of, in, of seeing like hierarchy? In this, like you know, sort of the ranks. Yeah, I think by like, by you can see what permissions the so, uh, different like security uh, levels. Yeah. Right. So I want to. I don't want to go as high as I can, but mm -hmm. I want to go high enough that I can. It will have the. I don't yeah. have to change any permissions. I have a person in mind. Okay, but I don't want. To, I specifically want to avoid people whose like names would be like on plaques outside. I don't want. To, I don't want tomorrow the next the news headlines being. Yeah, no. There's a couple. There's a couple. Of, there's a couple of mid-level, high, um, high permission people. Yeah. 
Okay, so I will, I will select whichever one takes my fancy. Wink, wink. Yeah. MC. That one. Um, and yeah, so boom, I'm in. Uh, so then... Uh, if there's yeah. anything else you want to do with the database, then you still have yeah. to hold. Otherwise, you'd have to manipulate the R&D control systems. Um, you know what? Because I have the hold, because I got in so quickly, I will... Um, do you want to search for some pay data? Get a get a bit more stuff. Uh, I mean, I could. It's, it's there's a lot of juicy stuff in here. Uh, there a, lot is. Of, a lot of juicy data. I'm thinking. Web. So, do I have to spend all this hold now? Because if I'm going deeper, right? You know, I'm thinking of this in store, like in steps, right? I'm in the account. I'm then going to be accessing the the, the project files, and then I'll be accessing the shipment. Like, yeah, I think you have hold over this system until you log out. Until I log out, so I can go back and forth between them. On a different system as well. Okay. Because I'm thinking that I'm not a heartless bastard. If I can try not dob, you know, dob someone in it, then I won't. So I was thinking that after I'm done with all this, I will just completely wipe. I will, I will uh, delete or edit access logs to show that I have not. This person hasn't accessed this at all. Yeah, you can. Yeah, cool. So I will, I will want to do that. Okay. Then I have one more hold. And again, I can, I'm can. i going to save this hold. And if I did get what I want, then I might on the way out. We'll mm -hmm. pick it up when we're leaving. All right, okay. Uh, the, the pay data. So then, uh, then roll synth again to manipulate the R&D system so you can stamp the, the, the chip as complete and, and get it out of there. Yes. Come on, dice. Don't fail me now. That's a 10. There you go. Wow. Yep. <laughs> nice. There it is. God, that was good. <laughs> Stop that, Jackson. Look, I already it's gave nice you a misinterpretation. <laughs> no, this is good. Uh, this is good. Okay, yeah, so, so spend one hold to mark the, uh, the chip as uh, completed. Mm -hmm. Spend another hold to send it off to, um, to, uh, to the shipping department, basically. Yeah. Uh, uh, for uh, for shipping to the corresponding address or corresponding person. Yeah, this um, would make just such a great little vignette where you just you're just getting through a, a whole like then, of of yeah. robotic and automated people and just just a person standing there, one of those boards, beep, whatever. Yeah. Just you and know then, the hugely then, important oh, thing completely ignored. <laughs> the the you said you 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 delete the access logs. You do that like now. Right, okay. so you've already spent the hold in the database, but that's what you do now. Soon, you no one finds out that this specific person marked that mm -hmm. as sent to him or herself. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, so yeah, one, one hold in in both systems still. Okay. Cool. Uh, so, and and that's, uh, I and then I still need to go one just one deeper to change the address. Yes. Uh, no, you did that. You did that by, you did by, edit, by editing the record of the, the person. Oh. So you identified the person and edited oh, so the record. I'm, so I'm done, That's basically. Yeah. I could just... Yeah, I could be... yeah there's still okay. a lot of juicy data there. Where... Yeah, 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 yeah. I know. There's a lot of juicy data in here. So, uh, <laughs> let's see. Now, we would have been, like, this was the plan all along, right? I'm assuming. This was how we, we knew we were going to get the chip? Well, I, I get has this Web, is has Web shared this plan with us. That's uh, no, I would think that this was a just this is literally just a thing that Webb has come up with on the spot. He's you see, when we say that we're professionals, uh, Webb would describe himself as more of a um a higher level enthusiast. He he you know, he well, a dedicated amateur, <laughs> still yes. a bit wet behind the ears, yeah, and and he will quite you know he. He's concerned about what ultimately what he can get out of this and what's you know the juicy things, and it's literally just a case of there's a carrot on the end of a stick that's dangled in front of his face, and he's like, Ooh, I have to take it. <laughs> yeah, I have to, I have to. you know, I, there's nothing stopping me, so I'm just gonna, you know, gimme, gimme. So, uh, I am going to. Uh, yeah, I will spend spend one of my holds. I don't. I don't think it really matters. 
which level. I'll do it on the. Uh, I'll do it on the the the, um, the, the control systems uh, one, and I will spend that to. Uh, oh no, it's in the databases. Okay. Yeah, right it's in the database. Yeah. 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 Okay. So I can only do the databases. It's fine. Uh, yeah. All right. I will do that then. So search for pay data. Really? Yeah. Roll oh. mind. Mind. Okay. Let us see how quickly web gets shot. Uh, I'm decent at mind, so. Oh dear. Oh dear. Should have said that. Yeah. So um, you uh, you're looking through the database, and you 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 just sort of open one of those doors, right? Mm -hmm. And you miss the the little wire that you sort of have to disconnect from the door. Yeah. Or triggers an alarm, and and sort of you pull it open. And it snaps, and you have a split second to either cancel what's going to happen, or the building uh, building's alarm goes off. Luckily enough, I still have one console cowboy hold left. I shall disable the alarm. Okay, yeah. So the alarm does not go off, uh, and the uh, the door you opened is a a meaningless junk folder. Basically, mm -hmm. it's got all these log files that are not interesting at all. Yeah, okay. you just the junk, uh, Jexus. <laughs> see now see I've still got one hold no I've not got one hold on this level so I can't do that anymore that's fine okay so um, um, let me see I think uh, Amy and Tripp you see that the man who was uh, sitting behind his desk um, jacked into the matrix is starting to move a bit sort of stretches sort of Flexes his shoulders and looks like he's going to log out soon. Okay, uh, when are we in his? You're hidden. You're hidden. No, we're, we're, we're hidden, hidden behind a row of uh, basically uh, server banks. Yeah. Okay. I, no, I'm well, assuming that you're keeping an eye on everything, so you, you'd see that. Okay. We. Yeah, no, it'll be okay. We'll we'll wait. Um, I just you know tap um, uh, uh, web on the shoulder, sort of hurry up. Yeah. Um, uh, but we'll stay where we are. Okay. I think this is a really bad call. <laughs> <laughs> I think I think Jexus has shown us the barrel of the gun, <laughs> and we're just like, it's fine. It's not pointing at us. <laughs> I'm, not just, I'm not supposed to say which moves I'm making. No, no, of course not. Of course not. <laughs> uh, but it, um, like the guy still... about to log out, like, okay, we're out of sight now. But all right, okay, yeah. If I mean, Amy is taking her cues from Trip because you're the you're the seasoned infiltrator here. This is really your deal. If you're not I still worried, have one. I would still worried. have one hold left of the. Um, uh, of the infiltration. Um, he didn't see us come in because we made sure of that. We are out of his sight here. Um, so, you know, uh, uh, once Webb finally gets, gets his shit together, <laughs> we can sort of move out and I'll just talk you past him and, you know, ask him a few pointed questions. <sighs> All right, so, uh, so web. Yeah, I have still one hold left in the R and D control systems. Yes, it doesn't necessarily mean you have to spend it, web. I mean, no, it, it, <laughs> believe me, from web's point of view, yes, it does. <laughs> um, is there anything, right? Just again, I'm not accessing anything. I'm just sort of browsing over. Think of this as like a level select screen for like Smash or something. I'm just scrolling through all the things. Yeah. Is there anything that looks like it is triple padlocked? Somebody's, you know, locked it up, thrown away the key, something super mega uber crazy classified. So is there no way that I have a look at your character that? sheet web. Um... Go do that. Yeah, okay. There is, maybe, there is a project marked PB. PB. Mm. Mm -hmm. 
that instantly uh, catches your eye. Yeah. So, um, okay, so how would I then, I would have to, would I have to do another manipulate systems to get at this? Or is this, or can I spend my hold to? Oh, well, I mean, you, I'm just gonna the thing you do. I'm not gonna lick. The, the thing that you can do in this, in this system basically means that you can activate or deactivate emergency protocols for the R&D control systems. You can issue or rescind an evac evacuation order to just clear the entire level. You can initiate or rescind a test process. You can change test parameters. You can seal or unseal a hermetically controlled area, or as we've just seen, you can stamp right. okay. it okay. and send it somewhere else. I've got another thing. I've got another thing. Um, so, yeah, forget that. Is there anything in this database, test wise, for R&D, that is being either commissioned by or for praise B? That's the yeah the, the the giant folder marked PB. It's not. It doesn't stand for peanut butter. <laughs> um, so yeah, uh, what I want to do is I want to change the test parameters. Mm -hmm. Does this mean I can see what it is? Uh, what yeah, yeah. I mean, you can see what the parameters are. Okay. So what, um, what, is, what you're is... make, forcing me to think. <laughs> um, <laughs> Let's see what would what we all the vista doing for praise B. I think yes. I think I think all the vistas is manufacturing some sort of semi mind control thing um, that uh, that allows for very susceptible minds to get and you know enthralled by a specific voice or imagery, and in this case, that imagery would be of a religious nature. Mm -hmm. Okay. Cool. So. I would like to change the parameters of the te of the, the sort of project as a whole to be project failed. Just just it's failed. It's done. They've they've <laughs> yeah, okay. you know, they yeah. reached the end. They're just that's it. No more. Just gotta chuck it out. Okay. And you know, all of that. Uh, and, we'll, yeah. Yeah. and then once that's done, I will uh, boop, 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 you know, I will start Mario hopping my way back to the platforms, X out the door, and I'd be like Okay, so um, mark experience because you discovered more information about Praise B. I did indeed. They're doing they're doing some weird stuff. Stern talking to Stern <laughs> talking to. Yeah. So you're um, logging out, I guess. Mm-hmm. Yeah. No, I'm I'm done. I'm just being... Yeah. So yeah, you you wake up, uh, mm -hmm. Trip and Amy. You see Webb come to, and at the same time you see the other man come to as well. What do you do? Took you long enough, Web. Let's uh, let's get out of here. Let's see if we can get the chip. <laughs> <laughs> but to think that I'm so I'm still like screwed up, so I don't have quite like muscle control over my mouth. So I'm sort of like drooling a bit, like I'm <laughs> just trying to sort of regain my faculties. Oh, I like that. As though you've just woken up in the middle of like a deep sleep and you're not fully... Mm -hmm. uh, oh, yeah. nice. Cool. Yeah. You're, you're muted, Alex. I think Amy adjusts her tie um, because she's obviously wearing this disguise. She's like, right, you said it was down here, did you? And she's speaking just loud enough that um, this attendant, attendant guard. Yeah, there's a lot of humming from all the servers right. in here. So, so just loud enough that he would register it. Because we've seen him sort of uh, log out as well. Okay. Um, as if a conversation was continuing that he missed the beginning of. Yeah, so, so, so Trip sort of uh, uh, adjusts his lab coat and uh, uh, says to, to Webb, well, so, so that's sorted out then now. Well, thank you so much for your help. I, I couldn't have done it without you. Um, but please, uh, uh, this way. Uh, 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 uh. I sort of pack up my thing and it's still sort of like, Trying to like come to properly. Yeah. 
Um, yeah, and then a, a trip will lead Amy and Webb um, uh, uh, outside through the door. Um, yeah. This is part of why we came. Just spend yeah, by spend a hold. I take. I take it. Yeah, I'll I'll spend a hold for um, um, for the uh, the the infiltration. Uh, yeah, thing. so that's your your face ability, right? Uh, no, that's my that's my covert entry. I still had a. Um, uh, a halt from that. All oh, right. Yes. Okay. I'll just broadcast it. So I'll. So we're basically bypassing a security guard. Yeah. Um. And then I spend all my halt. Uh, yeah. So while they move out of the door, um. I will sort of chat this guy up. Mm -hmm. And um, sort of ask, um. Uh, you know what's 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 happening on his end, and and sort of say, well, you know, this research project, and uh, you know, we 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 had a a, a glitch, a, a computer a matrix glitch, and and I, I we just had it sorted out, and yeah, exactly, uh, yeah. <laughs> so you know, so what's 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 new with you, and and sort of chat with yeah, yeah, and he, he basically does the same thing. He's, you know, he's, he's fixing some stuff in that uh, something went wrong with, the, with one of the databases and it, it, it was just a giant you know, mess and he, he you know, had to fix that. And, you know, he, 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 he likes to talk because he probably doesn't meet, meet a lot of people down there. So <laughs> uh, yeah. you gain intel. Excellent. Nice. Cool. And uh, get into the elevator and the door closes. Um, where do you go? So, downstairs to the chip? Uh, no. Uh, I've, I believe I may have taken care of that. What, what do you mean you may have taken care of that? We don't um, have a lot of time. Speak quickly. We'll find out in three to five days. Three to five working days. <laughs> I have a very smug grip at my face. Amy, Amy holds a pistol at your face. <laughs> Are you fucking me? A, a trip will keep his finger on the closed door button so that <laughs> nobody will wander in on this. And he'll just have, you know, he has his back to Amy and Webb, sort of, you know, have them, give them their moments. <laughs> you, have a you playing hardball, uh, Amy. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, there is no or, way that you pointed a pistol at my face and you can say no. I suppose I'm playing hardball. Damn. I mean, it's up to you. Are, are you do you intend to 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 follow through to carry no, through? No, I'm not. Ah. Uh, no, it's not in a beer in this scene right now. It's so <laughs> <laughs> just. Well, literally kick open a door from the hatch and then just jump down and <laughs> what the <laughs> or, or maybe, maybe Fog goes to like put you know hold the close button but it opens anyway and Bishop's just there like No, I no, think I think I think it's a toothless threat, actually. I think even if Webb was like, Yeah, you're a you're a chump or whatever, she wouldn't pull the trigger, right? Because that would be killing him and it would be a really okay. bad so, place so to kill him. <laughs> that means that whatever you're trying to do would be a fast talk. Yeah. If you, if you, right. See, now, the issue is, is that you probably don't even need to roll anything because Webb's just had a pistol pointed on his face, so he instantly is, you know, sort of no. back up against the back of the thing. And he's just going to spill his guts. He's just going to say it because he's had a pistol pointed at his face. Right, okay. okay. You missed so, it. Yeah. Opportunity for experience. <laughs> no, 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 this is what you do. It's like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, no, no, I, I had the, I had the chip. I, I, I completed it. It's, it's production complete. It's being shipped to us. We, we can pick it up in a couple of days. Well, it's fine. Okay. And she just like the, the pistol <laughs> disappears. Like she just like took takes half a second to register what you've said. The pistol disappears as quickly as it appeared. Like I don't, I don't know where that was. Like in a coat pocket or something. Um, it was unnerving how quickly it was in her hands, but yeah. uh, just as quickly it's gone. Mm -hmm. so, great. Out then, I guess. So we're off then. 
I'm, I, think, I think you two walk out of the elevator and I'm still like, what just happened? <laughs> Yeah, and I think I think this is where where you as a as a team just get managed to get out. There's no one's entangled in anything. There are no sort of there's nothing left. On, yeah. on, on I think no. the last the last shot is uh, Trip and Amy like stepping out of the elevator at the top floor, and Amy turns back like not breaking character. She's like, "Come on now, son," <laughs> calling him. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm following on, sort of like, just. Yeah, cool. Yeah. Where, where do you guys meet up after, after you, you do a mission? How about like just, just some kind of, um, some kind of burger joint or something? Just this, just a place where you just, you know, get a shawarma. Seems, seems to be the thing. Uh, the thing. <laughs> Yeah. Mm. No, imagine one of those Blade Runner um, noodle places. You know, one of those ubiquitous. They're everywhere now. Just deep in Chinatown, y you, you know, can hardly they're... read the menu. Uh, the the menu just go like, okay, just two of of. The... Is is this chicken or? Let's call it yum fats. <laughs> sure. I mean, I'm I'm guessing that that Bishop and Silence would, you know, since they they pulled out a little bit earlier, would have would have sort of been there. And, or if that's the case, then Silence is basically going like, "Oh my God!" And then when you knocked out the guy, it was just, "Oh God, that was thrilling!" I just, oh wow. Yeah, yeah, and this is this is like deep in the sprawl, right? There's like rain is now pouring down. Um, I I also imagine that the the uh, Altered Vistas campus uh, campus um, has some sort of dome over it that sort of cancels out any rain and it just has sort of artificial weather effects. Mm. Uh, as the moment you sort of walk off campus, there's this like fog and dense heat and <laughs> rain and just like a deluge that sort of pours down. Um, and um, yeah, this is like one of those open counter restaurants, right? You're just you're 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 sort of covered but barely so the rain is sort of like slamming down behind you as you as you dig in your you know eat your noodle or whatever um yeah so yeah you, you guys meet up um and how, uh, how soon after is this is this, just, is this immediately after so this counts as um extract the skill chip right this counts as uh when you extract the data yes uh, well, we've extracted the data. We got XP for that. I think when you extract the skill chip, which we've... Oh, we don't have it yet. Not yet. Not yet. Okay, check. Yeah. Okay. yeah. But, that was why yeah. I was asking how soon after is this. I mean, there weren't any complications with, um, with, the, with the Matrix moves and, and stuff like that. So you can, you can just extract the skill, uh, the, sk the, the skill chip as well. So you can mark XP for that. And, and maybe that's when you sort of meet up. Right, oh, so you wait. sort of break off, and when the mission is really complete, when you've done all the things, you sort of meet meet uh, meet back uh, at uh, at the noodle restaurant. Did we already get the XP for getting the data? We didn't, because I'm at three. We have now. No, yeah. You just gave it. Yeah, I'm also at three. Yeah, so that'd be four because we have the data. We don't have the skill chip right now. Yeah, so you get the skill chip now, so that's five. Oh, okay. okay. What are we at three? That's because we got the job. We decided how we want the data and we gained access those are the three yep. of the yeah mm -hmm. yeah yeah so all of you should have should have three except for web web who has four and then you add one for the data extraction and you add one for the skill chip extraction yeah so uh, you should have five and web should have six mm -hmm. yeah okay and then uh, okay if you get paid mark experience okay yeah yeah so we're going to get to that in a bit. So I guess if, if we're sitting around the table, uh, science just, just looks at, at uh, Bishop and Amy go, so, Mr. Boss Man, Boss Lady, how we do? I think, and like, just as you say that, and, you know, someone opens their mouth, goes, you know, there's somebody walk, like, walks up to the, the thing, it's like a little, like, I don't know, like, delivery boy, and he's just talking, maybe he's talking in, like, Chinese or Japanese, and he's saying something to the owner, and they're sort of doing that loud talk back to each other. One of them hands over a package to the other. The owner sort of looks at it, signs off, and says, 
ah, Mr. Webb, it's uh, Mr. Webb here. And I just go, oh, yes, that's me. And I sit back down. And I just immediately. <laughs> nice. And, oh. Yeah, cool. Um, I think on there's a, a lot of like television screens as well in this restaurant, like on, you know over the bar or whatever. And there's like news reports from different channels, all uh, well, not all of them, but a couple of them sort of report on uh, like social interest uh, stories about altered vistas and how they're horrible to their employees. And there's a mention of a Silence on the Wire there as well, in the like uh, as a sort of byline, um, just for flavour. <laughs> Name on TV. That's that's nice. That's that's going in my book. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna add a thread clock. Why <laughs> not? <laughs> so, uh, so uh, Mr. I'm Fisher. I'm running out of space, guys. <laughs> I'll, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll pipe up and say, so, uh, Mr. Fisher. Is, uh, I guess this is going to. Uh, what was his name? Sanchez. Yeah, this will be going to Mr. Sanchez. I think we did okay. We didn't attract a lot of attention. We have our package. We have our data. I think I'll get to contact uh, my liaison and we'll set up a meeting with Mr. Sanchez. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I just want to sort of go back to, to sort of this, this solo action mm -hmm. by web. To, to I mean, it's a brilliant ploy, but we should have known in advance that this was the plan. Well, uh, I'll be honest, I I didn't know in advance. I you know saw the the writing was on the wall, so to speak, and, and I took it. Hmm. You're lucky because it panned out. If it didn't work out, you've been in a world of shit. We all would have been in a world of shit. Nah. <laughs> Trip web will be for the worse. Nah. I look at the long, cold, hard stare going like, you're lucky it panned out this time. But <laughs> if it didn't. Yeah. Uh, I'm just like, let's look. We we were I was in there. I saw that I could get it right. In fact, you sh you shouldn't be giving me this. You should be thanking me. You didn't have to do anything. Uh, you did what we got. We got the data. Fine. I was the one who got the chip. I don't see. Thanks, Web. Thanks for helping us out, and getting us some money. I don't. See, no. the silence suddenly looks like very young like the kid in the superintendent's office like the friend of the the guy who made the mistakes he's just literally going like oh god just scooting a little bit to the side just minding my own business look there's no oh, go ahead there's no doubt you did well but the problem is you go off book you go off and plan you become a liability you endanger the integrity of the rest of your team but I didn't. So, Trip, how do you feel about this? Because we're still on mission. Yeah, well, I, I basically agree with Amy. Trip basically agrees with Amy. Look, okay. Web, I'm an old man in a profession where people tend to die young. I didn't get where I, where I am now by doing spur of the moment things and going off the book. Just keep that in mind. Because it's <sighs> our ass on the line as well, not just yours. Fine. You know what? Next time I see a pile of money just dangling in front of my face, I'll be like, no. Bishop just, said no. Just Bishop let it. No. Just let us know. Let us in on it. So we can so we can decide together what to do. There wasn't time. I just I saw it and I took it. And I think 
I did the right thing. You didn't do the right thing. You deviated from the mission. You got away with it. And so we're having this conversation now. We could have had a completely different conversation or there couldn't have been a conversation at all. I'm saying you're lucky you got away with it. But this shouldn't happen again. All right. I'm going to make sure it doesn't happen again. All right. Next time, I'll log out the system. I'll log out the system. I'll, 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 I'll jack out. We'll wait for maybe a couple of minutes for me to come to, and I'll say, hey, here we go. This is what I'm going to do. And by that time, it's already gone. Web, just help us help you. Listen, I know, uh, I know somebody who works with Cyberdex, who imports custom components for Dex. Can't you get a display that we have some way of communicating with you while you're in there? Or at least you could say something to us. Is, is that maybe, possible? Is maybe, that possible? Spend a, maybe spend sure. a wee bit of the money that you've so generously earned for us all and get yourself an upgrade. That would certainly work for me. I mean, whether it's possible or not, like we can always find out when. It is. Like, of course, you, it. yeah. But it, like, it sounds tempting, surely. No, a a right. small screen with a small keyboard connected through a wire to the to the uh, uh, to the cyber deck that we can type in sort of a message, uh, something like that. Yeah. yeah. I'll, I'll, yeah, okay, I'll look at Amy and say, well, I always wanted that for my birthday, Mom. Don't mum me. <laughs> <laughs> this is the point where uh, at least Bishop has like a very contained laugh. Just a <laughs> oh, what is our strip? Damn little shit made me laugh. <laughs> <laughs> As far as Trip uh, is concerned, this conversation is this issue is resolved, and he just digs into his miso ramen. Nice. Yeah. All right. I make so, a subconscious note of made Bishop laugh. <laughs> Success. <laughs> Achievement unlocked. Yeah, yes. is that your directive or? Uh... <laughs> My so, uh, let's, uh, I guess let's sort of... move ahead. Sure. What happens right, next? Go ahead. Do you wanna do you wanna do say do anything else, silence? Because I rudely interrupted you there. No, no, I I figured just this sort of you know there's this flavor moment where like at the moment where the pressure sort of high and stressful, like silence is almost like trying to you know put a hand on his shoulder, it's a little comforting, like it's okay. But then when he makes those jokes, she's like, <clears throat> just <laughs> yeah. I think I think Amy throws a prawn at you or something like that. <laughs> the spicy prawn right in your eye. <laughs> Oh <laughs> no! Yeah, just like just in your direction, like it's not. It's like it's just one of those. You almost had me feel for you, you jerk. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, I think I think we we can safely establish that Bishop has set up a meet with uh, Mr. Sanchez to um, God that name. I'm so sorry. Uh, to to do the uh, the handoff and get paid. He's a dirty guy. Yeah. Right, right to assume. Let's uh let's have a look at the getting paid um thing. Oh yeah. So um when you your your objective has been achieved and your team has extracted itself from immediate danger, it's time to get paid. And this is where we find out how you stand with your current employer and how well things went and how well things will go when getting paid. Um that you know you probably won't get Get backstabbed or stuff like that. Um, I think know, uh, getting, what I'd like getting the job. You have to you spend. Cho- one of, sorry, uh, you chose that the meeting doesn't attract attention. I think, and that the job paid well. Oh crap! I don't I think so. Right? Yes, I think so. Right? Yeah. You didn't. You didn't get intel. You didn't get gear, and I don't think you identified the employer. So the job paid well, and the meeting. Mm-hmm. 
uh, doesn't attract attention. Uh, okay, so let's uh, have a look at the move getting paid. Um, and it's, it's it's good to establish that first before we actually set the scene. Uh, let's see, where is it? You roll plus unspent legwork, right? Yeah, yes. uh, getting paid to legwork roll. And interestingly, you get to choose. You spend your successes basically on the number of good outcomes. And one of them is it's not a setup or an ambush. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, um, I, yeah, wait, 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 I, I have, Jexus, I, I have yeah. one question. Yeah, I still oh. have an intel left. Mm -hmm. Could I use that to sort of know whether Altered Feast has, is, it will be coming after us uh, uh, during, during uh, the, the drop-off? Let's see, there's a move called Produce Intelligence, I think, or what is it? Yep. Um, uh, no, that's Produce Equipment. Uh, there's another one, uh, yeah. the, the other one for Intel. Let's see. Um, reveal Knowledge. Reveal uh, Knowledge, yeah. One. Let's have a look at it. When you reveal your knowledge of the opposition's preparations, dispositions, or environment, describe how you discover that information and spend Intel. You must spend Intel to reveal knowledge. Take plus one forward to exploit the opportunity offered by that information. So it's it's intel that I got from that from from that one guy yeah, yeah. In, in the basement. Um not sure he's really you know into I don't think it apply I don't think it's intended to work uh as a modifier to a to a to a getting paid for for to a legwork role. Whip plus four anyway, like it's pretty good. Yeah, um, okay. Well, I'll just I mean it depends. I don't know what do you guys think. I don't know how he could have given you, I mean, like whether it's intended to or not, the information he could have given you, I don't know how yeah. it could be like. Yeah, I think, I think we need yeah. to sort of look at that like a higher level for, for like if something's going down, then you wouldn't be able to, to get, have knowledge of that through this sort of intel, I think. No, but perhaps if something goes down, then um yes uh, absolutely yes. To, yeah okay yes. well, I'll just, yeah okay let's yeah. let's just your intel isn't we'll wasted that. like you'll get to use yeah. it a lot. that's cool yeah. so uh okay so let's uh getting paid when you go to a meet to get paid by your employer roll and add the number of unfilled segments on the legwork clock so i think um bishop as you are the one um sort of uh, uh in the lead here for this particular mission um roll uh so I think you type this because I don't think there's a roll button for it on your sheet. So you, you roll slash roll or slash R space 2d6 plus uh, four. So slash roll 2d6 plus four. Yes. Mm -hmm. 11. Good. Okay. Uh, that's not good. <laughs> that it is. But whenever the DM, whenever the the MC says, no. "Oh, that's good," <laughs> no, 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 good. no, this is generally good. You get to choose three from the list. So it's either it's not a setup or ambush. You are paid in full. The employer is identifiable. The meeting doesn't attract the attention of outside parties, or you learn something from the mission. Everyone marks experience. Ooh. Mm. Mm, that's interesting. And I get to so choose. You get to choose. You get to choose three. Wait, the camera's over there. You get to choose three. <laughs> Okay, well, obviously, it's not a setup or an ambush. That's kind of okay. Lame. Yeah. And I think, uh, no, we don't know the employer. Uh, I didn't assess when we got the job. That's what I remember. Yeah. Um, I think <laughs> paid in full is a, is a second one. All right. And uh, I would prefer we don't have the attention of outside parties. Okay. S smooth, professional. Good, good choices. So, uh, that leads, that leaves, it's not a setup or ambush and the employer is identifiable. Right. If, if this, is a tell, this is a telltale game right now. The web will remember that. Uh, yeah. this, web, this web heard in one of these options, just from a theoretical point of view. Um, um, it, uh, Jexus, it leaves the uh, you learn something, yeah, and 
warriors are identifiable. Those two I didn't choose. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, okay. Uh, okay, so no XP, and you don't still don't know who you're actually working for. Good. But we get Silent. XP for being pained. You so get, uh, yeah, you trigger the, uh, you're getting paid now, so you get XP for that, according to the mission directives. Um, and yeah, so it's basically, it's the same scene as we started, right? Um, I, have, I have a question now, though. Yeah. Because um, here's the plan. Mm -hmm. Broadcast it. It's when you plan a mission, everyone to whom you assign a task uh, takes plus one ongoing. Yeah. Uh, and anyone who rolls or miss goes off the plan. Uh, and yeah. if you get paid, mark experience. So that yeah, means so you mark experience. Nice. Okay, that's good. Um, so it's the same scene. You except, I, I, are are all of you there, or is it the same people? Mm -hmm. Same. Uh, we're we'll back at the shipyard at night. Same I people, I guess. I definitely have the chip. So. Okay. I would. So yeah. Web is there. Web is there. Bishop is there. Trip is there. Silence is not there. Nope. No, Maybe. Silence will be like in an office at the the news agency typing, you know, stuff up. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So so basically, um, oh, you're you're muted again, Alex. Um. Yeah. So. Sanchez is standing there again with his uh, with his coat, you know, up high. Uh, he's got that weird pencil pencil mustache, and uh, he uh, he looks at you, Bishop. He says, "All right, go. Oh, did you get it?" Yeah, that's good. I look him straight in the eye with a cold hard stare. I go like, "Yeah, we got it." Did you get it both. We sure did. Good, good. All right, hand it over. This is the point where I slowly get an envelope from the inside of my coat. And I hold it in my hand and I look down to it and I want to give him the stare like, you asshole, and then slowly move it towards him. Mm. Yeah. You know, like, there you go. Yeah, so the envelope contains probably like a drive with the data that uh, Web extracted. Yeah. And I think Web, Web is still holding on to the chip right now, right? I still do have the chip. Okay, me. cool. Yeah. So yeah, Sanchez, he, he opens up the envelope. He says, you said you had it both. Where's the other one? Where's the chip? And I look over my shoulder and I look straight to Whip and I give him this like, go on, give it to him. Oh, hang on. Sorry, I'm just, I just had a really strange noise happen to me from my computer somewhere. Um, uh, yeah, all right. So I will, you know, I'm wearing my trench coat again. And I'll flip up the collar. <laughs> I'll sort of walk over, looking, trying my best to look as grim and, you know, as much like big old Mr. Bishop as I can be. Um, and I'll sort of uh, walk up and um, reach in, grab the, uh, the the chip out, and I'll sort of look at him. You know, he's like, what's his re like facial expression? Um, if you're not assessing the situation, he looks just like Bishop does. Okay, so he's he's not like looking he's at me angrily or anything. He's, he's, he's very so, very maybe so. maybe sort of impatient because you're you're clearly new to this. <laughs> okay, but he doesn't say anything. Okay, um, yeah, I'll, I'll I'll look at Bishop. I'll look at him again, and I'll bring out the chip, and I'll. Uh, sort of hold it out sort of on the flat palm. Yeah, so he grabs it and then he, he, he ignores you completely and he looks at Bishop he's like, next time just put it in the envelope so we don't have to do all this sort of... And he says, and all right. Look at him and I go like, the kid did a good job. He gets the kid. He gets the job. Whatever, Bishop, whatever. Anyway, I assume you want to get paid now, right? This is what a, this is where our, where we part our ways. Um, he he has a briefcase. Um, actually, he has two briefcases, mm. and um, he says, uh, "I'm just going to leave these here." Mm. Good night, gentlemen. And he he nods at Bishop and he nods at Trip. And he completely ignores Webb, and he he moves off to the side. He just leaves the briefcases there. 
Um, on a mechanical level, you got paid in full, which mm. means that you double your uh, stake, the, the credits you, you, you staked on the mission. Okay. Uh, and the job paid well, so you triple it, and you have the two things, so you quadruple it. Okay, that's pretty Ooh. nice. That's not bad. Quadruple it, so, eight credits. So if we staked, so if we staked two cred, we get eight, eight. cred in return. Wow, nice. We should so do this at, more often. We're at oh, yes. right now, at least. Um, yep, eleven. Point. Yeah, and Amy probably got a bit less than eleven. Yeah. Yeah, I think way less. I meant I meant nine. <laughs> but so, I'm not worried about it because I can make my own cred. <laughs> Well, yeah, I spent more on this mission than anyone else did. Can we give cred at this point? Can we share that or give that? You can do whatever you want with it. It just means you, each of you has, it gets eight cred if you stake two. Seems like a fair I distribution give, to make up I for give, lost money. I give one cred to Amy. So. Okay. Cool. Um, I think, Amy, your move triggers at the start of the session, doesn't it? Uh, it gets between like missions. Oh, between missions. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So technically, we're still we're still on mission, um, and the mission isn't over yet because now we move to something else. Uh, let's see. Uh, I'd, I'd be pretty okay with you know we're getting paid. No, we're done. Yeah. yeah okay. there's, a, there's a little. I'm not sure if you can read, but it says it says retaliation. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's silly. Let's, let's we just, just, we just uh, happen to skip that optional yeah. rule. <laughs> so, fine. so, um, uh, so, do we all push web forward and just go? Here he is. Okay. So, <laughs> you, you know, what? let's let's it's 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 ten. Let's have a let's have a short break, like a five minute break. It allows me to read through this real quickly and decide what's going to happen, and then we can jump back in and immediately get started again. Cool. Sounds good. I'll leave everyone with a little bit of music and we'll be back in uh, five or so minutes. Perturbic potato.
Hello everyone, we are back again and ready to get going. So, uh, last we left off, we just finished the mission and um, Jexa so kindly informed us that the our troubles weren't over just yet. Uh, what horrors await us, Jexas? Yeah, trying to figure that out. Um, <laughs> <laughs> basically, we what we see now is just time that passes, right? You go, you go about your day-to-day -day business, um, and um, some stuff happens, and stuff happens because you are on as as a team of of, of professionals, you are on the, these corporations' uh, radars. Um, and I'm just going to drag you off to the clock section so everyone can see, uh, or the corporate clock section, I should say. Um, this is the part, it's like when you get paid, after you get paid, this is the part where the world sort of makes them makes its move against you uh, instead of you making your move against them. And this is where you decide um, as a group how you're going to deal with this sort of stuff. Um, and I'm just going just gonna, to ask you a question there's three corporations on your hot on your tail basically um they want to get rid of you or want you want to want to make a move um do you you can choose do you lie low or do you fight back against these corporations what do they do um that's not for me to say right now because i think we need well, to how are we going to react to it if we don't know yeah yeah happened. no but you know that's that's <laughs> yeah, I'm just like right. i'm all argumentative now um <laughs> it's it's for you to decide whether you feel that the heat is getting too high depending on the position of the clock what see what heat do we see so i think i think you're starting to notice that you might be getting tailed there may be people sort of standing or driving past that should not, not should not normally be there. Um, you notice that when I think Amy, Amy, and and um, maybe silence, um, you start to notice that the people, the contacts that you normally talk with uh, and get information from, are less inclined to give you information. Oh, which, I... which for you, you'd know that this, this is a telltale sign that they're being paid by someone or something to just withhold, withhold information. I, I imagine um, that silence is sort of, you know, the, the, the job she's been given, like she, one of those is like, no, stop writing about this. You've tried it. No, nobody's accepting it. Just, you know, deal with this terrible parade of yeah, nobody exactly. cares. Yeah, I think so. Um, I think, um, I think, Webb, you, where do you live? Um, Probably in a. Uh, I mean, can I like can I just pick or do it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just like like a general sort of like a yeah, general. All right. So maybe there's like a um, my ground that I move around a lot, um, but my ground zero is um, it's like a probably another like, not an it's not abandoned, but it's like a. A small like block of, you know, one room apartments that are like mm. owned by probably like an an old woman who maybe it was nice back in the day, but now because she's old, she's a bit senile, you know. And I, I'm quite me and a bunch of other people in the building are quite happily taking advantage of this. Um, we're just I'm just sort of in a room. There's probably like one, you know, power outlet. There's probably one ceiling light, and there's right. like, a, a, yeah, I'm basically one step up from squatting. I think, I think one night, Webb, you, you come home and um, you sort of walk to your door of your apartment or of your room, and um, on your door in, in red paint, someone's painted a web, like a spider web. And if you look closely, you can see that there's these tiny lettering sort of in the web itself as, as sort of web strings, um, which, uh, which say uh, GCS. Hmm. And I think all of you sort of start noticing like these subtle little, like we're onto you. Like I think Trip, 
um, you you maybe get a like a like a, a letter from Mitsuhan Heavy Industries, um, which which um, it's not like really a cease and desist letter, right? But it's it's um, um, it's more like a like a subtle warning. It's like we still know you're here, Trip, and we we still pay you money to you know for you to work for us. Right, sort of like that. So like we 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 wish to inform you that your payroll account is still blah de blah, and uh, we will be wiring you the etc etc. And this is the first time you've got one of those letters. This is this is not um, like this is new, right? This is not standard. And like I said, I think silence. You probably get pulled off a case that's normally very interesting to the to the newspaper that you work for, and and all of a sudden you go, like you get you get removed from that case. Amy, your your maybe your um, maybe some of your uh, your your cam girls get get hassled, like get arrested or get you know get interrogated for no reason whatsoever. Right? someone's definitely messing with your business. And I think Bishop, you just yeah, I think you you're being followed, and you and and obviously being followed. So this is where you decide. To either you lie low, and uh, what that does is that we um, lower the corporate all corporate clocks by one step. But there's a cost to that. If everyone goes to ground until the heat dies down, each character pays half their cred or five, whichever is greater, and you lower all corporate clocks by one. Oh hell no! That's a lot of money. What does fighting back entail? So laying low is only an option if you have resources, both time and money. You have to have enough money to get out of town, but you also lose reputation over time. The sprawl moves fast. Yesterday's hot shots is tomorrow hot shot is tomorrow's granddaddy. This would have consequences for, for instance, uh, Amy's threat clock and silence's threat clock. Right? You're no longer able to do anything about that, basically. Fighting back, if you don't have the cash or you value your rep more than your life, you can attempt to fight back against a corporation. The best options are to find out what they know about you and erase or destroy that information or to attack the balance book and make it too expensive, too expensive to pursue you. Either way, those are missions. Normally, you won't get paid mm. for these missions, but hitting the street creatively may change that. Hmm. Making a mission out of this would be interesting. I'm very keen so, on fighting back. We could we could let things lie and see where it lands. That's an option. You can't you can choose not to do anything about this, or you can choose a corporation and design a mission to to sort of lower that clock. Why 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 not lie low? I mean, we we made boatloads of money on this on this, and if we lower all corporate clocks then all of this will go away. Do, that is would it, help. Does, low, does lying low lower all corporate clocks? Yes. Oh, it's worth it. I was going to say... All corporate clocks by one. Yeah, I was going to say it's like, then we're back to where we started, essentially. Or at least I am. Um, but, we, we, you know, actually we're better than when we started because this is... Exactly. Where we started, we yeah. started with all these clocks in position. I don't know, I still have... Some gear, I still have some. Intel. Well, I mean, you have XP, you've got rep, yeah, yeah, like this, got some stuff out you've of developed it. basically. Yeah, yeah. okay, it's, uh, it's up to you. It doesn't, it doesn't sit well with Amy, right? She's done it before, she did it when, um, when London went under, she did it, um, moving here, she had to lie low for a bit and then re establish herself. So it's not. It, it's like the last thing she wants to do, but sometimes you just have to. Sometimes you just have to stop being a problem by just not really being around. Yeah. Okay. Mm. So, because doesn't... this is this is a group decision. Everyone needs to agree because everyone needs to pay, and you need to have the money to pay. So it's it's five creds or half of your creds, whichever is higher. Uh, how do how do you half eleven? Is it uh, round up? I say we round down. Uh, so I say we round down. I'm not a fan of rounding up. So it would be five anyway. Mm -hmm. In this case, it'd be five. Yeah. 
it's the cheapest we're going to get this. <laughs> right? yeah, 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 you're never going to get it cheaper. Right. Webb dislikes this intensely. He is taking this as somewhat almost of a personal challenge. It's like somebody has Making come on to Someone has come onto one of his message boards and says, ha, hacking, you basically just copy a password that you saw somebody type from over your shoulder. You know, that is, you know, somebody has badmouthed him on the internet. This is unacceptable. But if he is outvoted, he will go along with the greater consensus. Begrudgingly, but he will. Trip will do his spiel about, you know, being an old man in a profession where people die young. <laughs> I think, his hands uh, over fire. Yeah. <laughs> I, I think Silence is, um, is kind of freaked out, basically, because this is the first time it's gotten real. As in, she's investigated things before and sort of done a little bit of journalism, and it's never really mattered. This is the first time that somebody's actually following her on the street and... Yeah, and so, so do, do you let each other know that this has happened to you? Or is this just everyone sort of keeps this to themselves? I think uh, Sans got to keep it to herself. Yeah. Isn't she, that something you should... Exactly. Sans is more just along the line of in the next meeting, she's just, you know, looking over her shoulder and going like, okay, okay I, I, I don't think I can do this for a while. It's It's... It's it's been it's been great, but I'm I'm just I don't know I'm I'm getting just palpitations. I just I I need some time off. I th I, I think Webb would have gone to trip actually, and he probably has taken like you know like four or five like Polaroid pictures of his door that's been like painted and you know he's got he's got like red marker and he's outlined in letters where it's like you can see or you know all this stuff and he just he would go to to trip you know being like i think i think someone's someone's trying to someone's trying to get me i think we need to we, we need to, to find out who it is we need, to, we need to find where they live we can get bishop and, and he, can, we can get him, he can shoot them and, and yeah, I'm sort of like rambling a bit, but I'm sort of yeah. looking for trips. Like, trip knows what's up because when he was still working for Mitsuhan full time, that was some of the things that he did: sort of infiltrate an apartment building and just leave a, you know, a written warning or something to. Um. So he will explain in small words to Webb that this is what they do. They're trying to scare you. And that they're, they're, they're not actively trying to harm you. But they want you out of their hair for a while. Now, you can do two things. You can take on this this huge corporation with these huge amounts of resources and see how that goes or you can give them what they want and lay low for a bit and then and then we'll oh well, maybe then there won't be any need <laughs> for anybody to shoot anybody not them shooting us or us shooting them Attracting attention is is not that good of a strategy in this business. <sighs> Sometimes you just gotta listen to dad. All right. Well, that's uh, that's at least two votes. I think three votes for for opting out, you know, lying low with Bishop or whatever you. Time for a filibuster. <laughs> <laughs> I think uh, what I liked about the uh, the Shadowrun uh, computer game, because that's the only Shadowrun I know, but uh, you get to choose your etiquette. I really like that system that they have. 
Uh, and in, in that format, I would say like Bishop is one who would have chosen the corporate uh, etiquette. And I think also the history of Bishop would be more uh, having done a lot of corporate jobs and having more liaisons, contacts in the corporate world. And this freelancing gig is somewhat um, more of a recent thing. Uh, so in that sense, you're professional, Bishop's professional, but the freelancing angle is different. Uh, that requires a different kind of etiquette. This is more a level of, uh, it's more an area of street smarts, certain things. I think also Bishop kind of relies just like Webb um, on the inside of, of other people. I think in this case, if Amy, who has the most experience with um, getting entangled and knowing when to lay low, it's a point we go like, okay, you know what, I'll go uh, with other people someone else would suggest and I would also say like let's lay low at this point right. recognize uh, the relevant experience where it is at that point and just go with uh, what people say sometimes you just gotta listen to mom All right mom is mom <laughs> web translate this I suppose <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like web has a a toilet with two kind of a uh, wisdom uh, tiles on it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so, Amy, what do you think? I already said Amy doesn't like oh, it. Right? She uh, doesn't like it. She doesn't like it, um, but she knows that it's a necessity from time to time. There are, there are, you know, you don't. There are times where a fixer, a con anyone who's connected, anyone who knows anyone in the sprawl is all about making connections and being seen and being known and being recognized. And there are times where actually you need to be a ghost. There are times where the people you love need to look in the obituaries section and see your name and smile and know that it's not true, but not know why. Um, and I think it's not a problem, right? As a, as a fixer, it's, it's not a big deal to have a visa, like to have a, a new identity card, to have, okay, maybe it's not gonna get you uh, through the highest levels of government checks, but it'll get you on a plane. Um, it'll get you to the uh, Lee Valley Industrial Reservoir uh, boat collective, which eschews CCTV and, and lives a life of sort of piracy on the now sea, essentially, that once was a canal. Um, and, that's, and that's exactly what Amy does, right? Um, and I think... I think <clears throat> Bishop reaches out to her, um, he'll just get a one line reply, automated reply that is so clearly from a bot that it like, doesn't even, it doesn't even, like you don't even think for a minute that this is a human being replying. But it links you to a discussion thread about Amy Feedback, about, you know, like the rumors about where Amy Feedback's gone. And just like somewhere in that thread, you know, like Amy feedback, I heard she flatlined, no way, she's still alive, blah, blah, blah. Um, and somewhere in that discussion, there's a link to it, like there's something that just catches your mind. I don't know what it is, a conversation we had one time. What was the conversation about? Like it was something that only we would remember. Anyway, whatever it was, you follow through where that like thing that maybe you haven't thought about for a while and it will link you to another identity for yourself, a, a, a passport in your name, right? Um, that's been left for you at, at I don't know, uh, a news agent or something. Um, where you go, what you do with it, who knows? There's no tickets, but you know, you can pay your own way. Cool. Nice. Yeah. yeah so um, I, I, I'm thinking basically if, if that's sort of the, 
if you have those types of vignettes of where are people in in the meantime i'm i'm guessing you sort of you know see the zoom in on this like giant line of cars or that are just stuck and just belching out smoke and it's in the middle of the pouring rain and just science is there just like she had a poncho but that thing is not holding back the rain just you sort of hear this shot of conversation of two hours wow yeah that is that is something all right and you (laughs) sort of zoom in she's just making notes that just basically go like you know lazarus biotech and a circle and a lion to like camarilla question mark and general just "Hmm? oh no i'm (laughs) I'm paying attention, sorry. And just right. <laughs> tearing it off and then throwing it away and then just <laughs> deep sigh and just see the camera pan on. <laughs> All right, cool. So you're on traffic duty. <laughs> um, we're all going to do one of these. Um, I think Deb is... Uh, he's, he's sort of, again, one of... Oh, of his list of places where he thinks that are safe places. He's like put down the deck for a while. He's got it safely stored away where he knows. And um, we basically just see a scene of like a crowded fast food restaurant. And in the back, somebody, you know, there's a kid in a uniform flipping some burgers. Oh, wow. (laughs) Yes. (laughs) <laughs> it's like the end of Requiem for a Dream <laughs> what about Trip old man what do you do when you lay low yeah so I, 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 you you get a scene of a very large park somewhere in a city uh, it's nicely manicured and you see Trip uh, 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 sitting in a, in a sort of civilian clothing uh, uh, sitting on a bench there uh, in, a, in, in, in the sun and feeding the squirrels from a big bag of popcorn. Okay. And he's just sitting there. And um, uh, so then the, the, the camera speeds up and you see people walking by and you see the sun sort of move across the sky. And then <clears throat> at the, uh, when it's getting dark, the, the, the bag of popcorn is empty and it just folds it up. Uh, puts it in the bin and walks away. Nice. All right, cool. Uh, yeah, so mechanically speaking, everyone check off five cred because that's how much it costs for you to lay low and stay alive. And then I'll adjust the corporation clocks. Um, in return, can I though... Say, can yeah. I just say, I kind of hate you a little bit. I mean, I think this is beautiful. I think this game is beautiful. <laughs> Don't hate and me. This, this, yeah, no, like, I shouldn't hate the player. I should hate the game. <laughs> uh, but it just, like, it's just right. Like, it's leading us to really want to fight back because this is this was not yeah. an easy decision. Um, and, like, even though this is probably the best time we'll ever have to make that, this call. I think, I think it was necessary. Like, yeah. looking at the clocks and the way you handled session zero, uh, it was necessary because it would have been yeah. a big... But it just describes how uh, Louis C.K. talks about Monopoly, like he plays Monopoly <laughs> with his young daughters. And he says this game is truly evil when you play it with your own kids because there's this point, they're never going to win. They don't have the intelligence to win. So there's this point where you have to tell your little kid, like, all the stuff you've worked for, everything you've gained, it's not nearly enough to pay all your debts. So yeah. Everything from you now... You got to sit over there. <laughs> it's basically what you're doing, Jax, is you're telling us, like, oh, you got this made. <laughs> hey, this is very useful. It was, Look it was at all those something. Pushes, all the, yeah, we, those we, buttons, right? Like, it, you, I want to fight back now. Like, I know that, okay, this time, corpse, you can have it, but damn you, next time. Hey, I mean, you can decide to fight back again now, like no. as a mission. You decide that for yourself, but yeah, no, you want we, to no, we're going to keep the tone. I think we we'll just let this go. Yeah, so, I, but I in... like what it establishes about everyone. Just the vignette just shows like what kind of person are they really when they go to the zero when they when they're at neutral. Who are they? So, Amy, um, there is a problem though, because uh, Taki is looking for you. That's right. You prom- You made him a promise. And you're not giving your end of the bargain. So I'm 
I think he thinks I'm dead, right? Like, that's the rumor. So yeah, that's the rumor, but ta- he's not an idiot. Hmm. Maybe he bears a grudge, but you, you want to collect from... He's not, I mean, he's not actively looking for you or nothing's going to happen, but no. something will happen when you eventually resurface. Sure. And the same thing goes for silence, I think, but this is different because I think the way this threat clock should work is you're actively, actively trying, trying to sort of keep that threat of you in the news and, and, and making sure that the stories that pop up are, are contained. You can't, ha- you can't do that now, right? Mm-hmm. So the story you created about Altered Vistas is starting to lead to, you know, live its own life. Um, and that's why we're going to advance that clock as oh, well. Oh, it, it's got to be one of those, um, strangely, the author of the story has refused any comment, and it's just being... Exactly. Just, and you can't do anything. your name on it, right? Like you it, your name on you, it, and you, uh, you're going to be made a fall guy eventually, right? That's... that's yeah, it's getting shared no... everywhere again and again. And every time, I think, every time you, you try to do something about it, you get shot down, right? It's like, you no go report on traffic and no you Wait. do the obituaries and does it so, raise by two i raise it by two yeah it's a long time you you you're going away for for quite a long time like this is like weeks we're talking about maybe maybe a couple of months even how do i mean just out of curiosity how would i deal with that threat right like make it a mission okay you know, you know, oh right? uh, yeah, like we can conduct an operation. We can just do it in one or two rolls. Mm-hmm. Um, let's see. All right, that's cool. Yeah, I just yeah, wanna... we can we can figure out like we we can do conduct an operation and then we figure out what the operation is and then uh, then that's that right. That's just a small thing. We could make it a full blown mission if you want as well. That's that's fine. Um, so the yeah the Lego clock empties out. And the action clock empties out as well. So you're doing well. Uh, oh, switched it to the wrong layer. Um, let's see. I think this is where we um, do end of session stuff, if there is any end of session stuff. Um, I don't know what the end of session stuff is. Let's have a look at directives again. I think we we covered those. Um, Let's have a look at advancement. I keep forgetting how that works in this game. Sorry about that. There we go. No worries. So I've got seven experience and five cred. Yeah. Um, No, we do links. That's, That's what we do. We change your links. Um, and the, the XP is purely a directive thing. Um, so at the end of a mission, uh, which, which we've now reached, uh, each player chooses another character who, as a result of the mission, has a better idea about how your character operates. Explain what happened and what they know about your character, what they now know about your character, and that character increases their links with you by one. If that new piece of knowledge would increase their links with your character to plus four, explain why that new knowledge changes the relationship. The players of these characters will then frame a short downtime scene between the two characters focused on the new knowledge. After the scene, they mark experience and reset their links with your character to zero. Um, Which character aspects you choose to highlight and how you conduct these downtime scenes will depend on the group preferences and the themes and tone of the game. Right. So... Um and those downtime scenes happen when a link rolls over. So we're, we're way off that yet, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 So uh, let's, uh, let's start with the uh, trip. Do you, uh, let's see, who, um, you, yeah, you choose another character who, as a result of the mission, has a better idea of how your character operates. Who is that? Amy. Amy. And, and then you explain she, to she what been, happened. Well, she has been by my side during the whole operation. And she saw me sort of disguise myself, talk to the guards, and sort of get them in and out. Yeah. Um, I think key for Amy would be that at the point that the other guy was, that sort of attendant or guard was was logging out, like that was the point where she would have intervened and you were like, no, just, just play it cool. Like that would have taught Amy yeah. something about you, for sure. Cool. 
All right, Amy, you have uh, plus one links with, um, with Trip. Cool. Uh, what about Web? Which character has more knowledge about you? Uh, I, out of, because at this point it would be Web's, um, uh, Web's tendency to go for the carrot, right, of the stick. I guess uh, so, I, yeah. I think, I think one I probably clashed with most in regards to that was probably Bishop, because I went, because whereas a, the, the choice would either be Bishop, Trip, or Amy, but I think Bishop was the first one to sort of be like, no, you you're you're goddamn lucky that this didn't blow up in your face. Yeah. Um, so yeah. I mean, so I, maybe yeah. didn't keep his eyes. Yeah, but uh, yeah, but that, I mean, like, but that was resolved. Like it was like, oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, but I, I, I think all that's done in a sense is um, reinforce Webb's idea that he has absolutely no idea what to think of you. <laughs> like he's he's like, is she? Well, like, what's what's happening here? I'm I'm confused. You know, he's not good with people anyway. And then when somebody who's like, "Oh, did you, did you help? Did you get it? Is it done?" And I'm like, "Yep, yeah, it's all done." And I'm just like, "Oh, yeah, I have no idea what's going on with Amy." Uh, so yeah, I will choose Bishop. All right. So Bishop increases links with Web by one. Is that um, that's purely Bishop to Web? I'm assuming it's yeah. not by that. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, what about silence? Who knows more uh, about you? I think Bishop as well, because what I'm thinking would have been the result of this, uh, the mission they did together, that before silence has always been sort of like, oh, you know, the naive reporter girl who just, you know, she's she's trying to, she's innocent, she's sweet, and I'm thinking during this mission, she completely acted and lied to everybody's faces. So I'm thinking for Bishop, it might have been one of those, oh, hey, she can, she's, you know... Maybe maybe there's something that could be trained, molded, or encouraged somehow. Yeah. Okay, cool. So another is like plus one with silence for Bishop. Um, then we get to Bishop. Yeah, yeah. I think on one end, um, during the mission, I spent, I spent the whole mission with silence. I think that makes the most sense at this point, actually. If anyone learned anything of me, it would have been silence. So what did they learn of you? That you're a ruthless badass. <laughs> yeah. I'm a found man, I would say. <laughs> I think um, in, in relation to this, uh, I mean, we infiltrated a, uh, an Altered Vistas location. But it was more of a campus, like you described. Um, this is a bit out of my normal setting, but we walked in there, we kept our uh, facade going, basically, and at the right point, I was able to signal silence, like, we can do something now, and I can take care of it, and I think it's a point for silence to go, like, oh, okay, wait a minute, this is, we can use this opportunity. Yeah, yeah it makes sense, yeah. All right, silence, uh, up your links with uh, Bishop, Yeah, and then we've got maybe feedback. Who knows Amy feedback better? Is that right? Is that the question, right? Yeah, it's it's um, the, has a better idea about how your character operates. Uh, I don't. Could that maybe be spun in the opposite direction, where because Web is it? I mean, Amy's reinforced the fact that he has no idea, but I mean, that's still. Web what? knows not to it that he knows that she can do the unexpected, which I'm I'm trying to sort of clutch at straws here. To yeah, that that was my like that was what I was thinking initially was that like yeah you, but I don't know if that's a better like a better idea or. A... I don't know. Like but the yeah. moment I liked was when uh, Trip immediately read the situation and was like, "I'm just going to hold the elevator door." And let this wow. thing. Also, good mm. moment. And that's yeah, pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, that's a really good argument. Like you, I think. I think it. I think it was trip. Like a reciprocal link. Then in that case, because it, you did. You saw something happen, and you knew exactly what it was. Um, maybe it's not something that you were expecting, but you definitely have an idea that this, like, yeah. 
Well, that, that you teaches you something of somebody else. Like we're on the same yeah. wavelength. I, I, I get this. Yeah. yeah. Right. Cool. Yeah. Sounds so, good. Uh, trip uh, plus one links with Amy. And I don't think anyone went over plus four links with anyone else. So no XP and no further advances. So I think I think that's it for. So we do so trip with that. Trip trip is uh, linked with Amy. Yeah, plus one with Amy. Oh, okay. We we started with me. Yeah. I think. Oh, did you? Sorry. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So um, clean slate basically. Um, good job, guys. Is it? It, it could have gone. Could have gone south. Terribly, terribly wrong. <laughs> it's like a couple of failed rolls in the matrix, and maybe with the with the, the guy in the uh, in the server room, and this would have ended with bullets. Probably, yeah. Uh, but but it, we are professionals, so we exactly, yeah, managed it. <clears throat> so yeah, next week or no, in two weeks time. Two weeks. Um, yeah, yeah, two weeks. Yeah, it's, no, bi-weekly, two weeks. Oh, okay. Um, and I think we'll be playing on the Monday then. Is that right, Vainen? Oh crap! Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, so that's that's Monday the twenty. Eighth. Does that work, Alex? Twenty-eighth. Yeah. Why not? Okay. Cool. <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> sure. No, I, I don't even know. Let's just say yes, Monday, and Monday. if I can't, then I'll let you know. And yeah, you know, no, that's, that's fine. Apologize. That's fine. Um, and then we can start a new mission, and we can oh, see what you guys want to do, or uh, whether I will come up with something. That depends. You know, we can discuss that in Discord. And uh, perfect. Thanks for playing. Taking it back to Baronic now. Well, thank you so much. And well, as you've noticed, what um, we finally hammered out a schedule is a little bit odd, but it's it's a bi-weekly thing, by which I mean once every two weeks, not twice a week. So once every two weeks, and then we'll uh, we tend to alternate uh, Wednesdays with Mondays. Reason being, well, there's six of us, so schedules do you know that they'll have conflict. So we're trying to keep this as regular as uh, we can. Uh, thank you so much, uh, Jexus, for for hosting this. It was uh, this is a lot of fun. It's always always cool to play the sprawl. Um, thank you, everybody, for <laughs> that's the thing of today, is it now? <laughs> thank you so much, everybody, for uh, for playing this. Uh, really had uh, fun doing it. Um, maybe just do a quick round of anything you'd want to plug, anything you want to promote, anything you'd want to do. Um, Fub, do you have anything you want to throw out there? Um, well, I have a little tip on bundle of holding. There is currently a offer for, uh, uh, PDFs of the one ring books. Um, it's one of my favorite games. Um, check it out. A really good value. Ah, uh, it's pretty nice. We, we, uh, you gemmed a little session for, for us and that was, that was a lot of fun. It's it, interesting system. Quite nice. Uh, Huthor, do you have anything you want to uh, throw out there? Uh, no, not really. Just again, thank you for playing, everyone. It was a bunch of fun. And uh, as tradition dictates, hack the planet! Why do we keep him around? It's. I. I... <laughs> Comic relief. Vader, do you have anything you want to uh, promote here? Uh, no, I have nothing to promote. Okay, thank you. Thank you so much. And uh, Alex, do you have anything you want to throw out there? Well, thanks. I wanted to say thanks because I really, uh, I really enjoyed myself. Thanks to Byronic, to Jexus, to to all of you. Actually, um, it's been a lot of fun uh, playing with you guys. If you want to find out more about what I'm up to, uh, please follow me on Twitter. You can follow me at fake underscore Alex underscore Blue. Um, and um, as to whether there's anything I want to promote, uh, yeah, like keep keep working against those corporations, keep striking against those oppressors. Like it's now seriously now is the time for people to come together to make more art, to play more games, mm. um, and to keep going because otherwise the corpse win. That is that is very true. That is that is a message we should take to heart. Um, okay, thank you everybody for uh, for being here for uh, for watching. 
Uh, I will leave you with a little bit of music and uh, hope to see you back in the weekends where we're, we'll be striking against those corporations and uh, in our nice anti-capitalist world of uh, Deus Ex. <laughs> Thank you so much and uh, see you in the weekend. <laughs> Thank you.